All right, looks like like we are up and running, hopefully. Uh, audio, yeah, levels, yeah. I don't think I'm muted, no, perfect. I have a tendency to do that. Uh, welcome back, this is gonna be part two of our run. What I'm gonna be doing here is going for it. Um, I'm gonna be trying to beat the game today. I don't know how much time I have. Yesterday was just a, hey, cat ass for 10 hours. You know, your heart demands it. Today is a little bit different. Um, <laughs> at some point in the day, I have to be an adult. So there's two things I need to do. I need to beat the Gravelord Nido, or however you say it. And I need to do the Duke's Archive. The Duke's Archive, I kind of got stuck at last night at the end because of the two boars. Um, so I probably should have looked up how to get past those. Uh, Matt, how you doing? Yes, we are fancy. I can get that starting screen to you now. I can get you also a be right back. For when I have to step aside and mute the mic and just weep at where my life has ended up. Havel set. Yeah, you missed it. Um, you missed it, Matt. Havel set was on last night. But no. Family got in the way. Um, okay, so... Yeah, so what I need to do is I need to do two things. I need to... Man, I'm trying to think of where's the best way to do this. Basically, I need to go down to the river and pray and uh, kill the Hydra. I'm trying to think of where the best way is to go to do that. I can cut through Firelink Shrine down... Is that the fastest? Um, yeah, let me go to... Not Firelink Shrine. I can cut through Undead Berg. Let me do that. Yeah, I used Havel's armor set to beat um, the Four Kings. Uh, this will be archived on the YouTube site at some point, I imagine. So, Although I'm not going to add chapter markers. <laughs> it was like an eight and a half hour recording. But yeah, I need to archive that so I can get it off of my hard drive so that I can uh, make room for future... Black Lodge. So, that's a good question. Just leave it on for the rest of the game. Who needs rolling? There's two things. Uh, one, I definitely don't because I'm terrible. The number of times I successfully roll out of an attack is probably slim. Usually I'm just like, thunk. Uh, the other problem is, though, is that you run really slowly as you're just sort of getting around. And um, I find that... <laughs> um, Come on, Grandpa. I already move like that in real life. I don't need to move like that in my video games. Perfect. So what I tried to do at the Duke's Archives is I tried to just speedrun past the boards, and when I got to the bonfire, it wouldn't let me... <laughs> Fair, yeah. You know how it is for me. Um, men of certain age got that limp going they don't know where it came from they slept on their neck weird you know how that knee is as the uh, weather changes um, yeah I tried to run past the two boars succeeded got to the stupid Uh, huh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Having antivirus protection updates popping up on my window and taking over my screen. Um, yeah, and then it just it would not let me light the bonfire. And so I just stood there. So I ended up going up the elevator to Duke's archive. And, um, see, if I couldn't roll, I couldn't do that. <laughs> Massive effective 
Um, so what happened was there's two boards, if you know the game at all. One is at the very entrance to the Duke Archives hallway. The other is blocking the final portion into the room. The one that's blocking the final portion into the room would reset, as I hoped it would when I went up the elevator. The problem is it was blocking the one that needed to go all the way to the front of the hallway, and so it wouldn't leave. And because it wouldn't leave, I couldn't, I couldn't activate the stupid bonfire and uh, just smash it. You see, the problem is you need a bigger weapon. Well, let me tell you something. Um, this doesn't actually stop the splash. I don't know if I have the rusted iron ring. So what I need to do is I need to, I guess I need to kill this thing so that all the other things appear in this lake. Oh, I do have the rusted iron ring, or maybe I don't even need it. That's what killed me last time, is I ran off the edge trying to get that neck. Gotta get that neck life, you know what I'm talking about. Can't even see what's going on. Can I just kill something? There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Like, I don't want to kill those boars because it's super tedious. And I thought if I was just being clever and running around them, I'd be all set. Uh, I was not. Now, the reason why we're doing this... <laughs> hey, one thing at a time, Matt. I can only handle one thing at a time. <laughs> the time for figuring out what equipment you need for a fight is after it starts. <laughs> Pro tip. Um. <laughs> Did I get it? No. I got that one. Okay. Anyway. So I got to figure out how to... Yeah, come right there, baby. I got to figure out how to do that. And I got to figure out how to... Oops, I don't think I can get there in time, but try. Okay, so this last head, I think falls in a way that I can't reach it. It comes over the ledge. Which is what got me last time. Uh, so what am I going to do? Let's figure this out. Can I get, can I bait it? Or is it always going to land in the same spot? See, again, if I couldn't roll, I couldn't do that. I gotta have that tool in my toolkit. Um, how am I gonna do this? Can I? No, I can't. So it's gonna land right in front of me there. Do I have fire bombs? Or is it always... That's a little closer. <laughs> okay. Okay. A little game of cat and mouse. <laughs> now let me pull back here and see if I can get baited. Jesus, dude. I'm not even... Not even close. There we 
we go. Oh, let's see, my knowledge and recollection of Dark Souls is so soft. Even after playing through last year, from what I remember, the Hydra is before Four Kings and Orlando, or am I misremembering? Um, I approach... Yes, it can be before. It should be before. I approach my Souls runs like... Like jazz. Um, like I was all over the place. So what I need to do now is... So I end up doing Four Kings near the end, even though you can do it early and probably should, so you can get the very large ember. Um... But I do it last because I'm intimidated by it. So I do, uh, what do I do? I, I sort of speed run from, and that's using the term incorrectly. I'm not speeding through anything. But, you know, I do the, the gargoyles. Um, I'll do, you know, obviously you start with the, the one, um, the, the monster jumping across the, the rooftop in Undead Bird. Um, you, so you do that, um, uh, oh, you know what I need to do? Um, I do the gargoyles, and then pretty quickly I'm off and doing Quilag really quickly using the master key, and then I'm into Sense Fortress as fast as humanly possible to get to, and Orlando as fast as humanly possible to be able to warp around. And so after I do that, then I start like, oh yeah, let me head down into the depths and take on the uh, gaping dragon. So I tend to be pretty over leveled for those. Uh, the what's the other one? Capra demon, I take on pretty late because you don't really need to do it. And I find that fight intimidating because I. I need to talk to her. Probably not the hero you pictured <laughs> when you wondered who would come to your aid. Uh, who cares? Ooh, a seal? Uh, yes. I wasn't reading. What's the significance of the yellow guy? Is there an NPC? Yes, yes. So the couple things going on here. The main thing is... Yes, she's in there for some reason. I need to free her so that we can get her summoning sign. So that I can be a giant baby and buy the light spell. I think I might need to buy a catalyst as well, because I don't know. Maybe I have one. Because, spoiler alert, I hate Tomb of the Giants. I don't love the catacombs either, but I really dislike Tomb of the Giants. Shit, I need to replay this, Matt says. Yes, yes you do. And we need to, like I, I said, we need to wax poetic about all of them, or as many of them as we've played. Um, <laughs> and we should do it when Patrick's there, and he's like, fucking A, guys, I thought we were going to play something else. <laughs> and we're like, no, this is what it is tonight. Uh... Okay, let's learn gesture. Why not? Uh, I'm just going to do this just to, in case it matters. I don't think it... I'm, actually, it doesn't matter. Cast light. And, uh... I don't think we need anything else. Let me just make sure I have a catalyst I can use. Um, let's see. Had the wrong shield equipped as well. I should have been using the crest shield for magic defense, and I was using the one for fire. Uh, where do catalysts fall on this list? Did I just miss them? Do I not have any? There we go. Ah, shit. Okay. Maybe her catalyst is a little lighter. It is much lighter. Okay. If there were to me. Hopefully, I can use that. Uh, 
There we go. Let's see. I think I was so far down the strength build that Graveyard Needle was a little bitch last time, but last time I Yeah, um, what sorcery is this? Yes, let me show you. Well, I can't equip it now. Um... As said, I am a giant little bitch when it comes to Tomb of the Giants. I don't enjoy it, like, at all. And um, I don't want to do it, but you have to. And so I refuse to engage with its mechanic that you can't see. I refuse to engage with the mechanic that you need to give up your shield in order to hold a lantern. Um, I would do Nido towards the end of the game anyway, where you might have gotten the helmet if you've done the path correctly to that has a light on it. If you're helping the sun bro guy through his story storyline. So, yeah. This way. So there's a couple of different options for you to get a light. Um, I tend to just do this one. Because it doesn't require... Anything, really. Just requires you to have an intelligence of 14 and some extra souls to spare. So at some point, when the time's right, I just uh, pump a few points into intelligence. And go from there. Intelligence 14. Yep. Yep. In real life, no. But in this game, yeah. Unfortunately, here's the question. <laughs> can I actually tune a spell? I can. I was about to say, none of this matters if I can't actually tune the spell. So, as you can see, bonk. you don't need it for here, but... Um, Did you already do Ash? Like, no, no. And, uh, I still need to. There's nothing you have to do down there. I I mean, usually, I've already screwed up Sig Sigmire's storyline, so there's no point in waiting in terms of doing it in the proper order to get his Titanite slab. But, um, so I don't know, Matt. Are you a fan of Ash Lake? I am a huge fan of Ash Lake. Now, you don't actually have to do much of this area, but I'm not smart enough to know what parts you can get away with. Oh, come here, you little bitch. You can't run. Oh, you're still alive? <laughs> Is a phrase I don't often get to say. <laughs> <laughs> in my everyday life. But the, uh, I don't remember enjoying the mechanics of the descent. I enjoy the journey in the path. Yes. Yeah, getting through the tree is not amazing, and I sort of just skip through it as fast as I can. But the implications, yeah, <laughs> definitely. So part of what I was saying, and if I had just gotten the Black Knight Halberd, I probably could have skipped a lot of things. I don't probably need anything here. I need Titanite chunks. Um, but I don't need... Fantastic.
Fantastic. Again, couldn't do that if I were in Havel's armor. I would, couldn't roll. Uh, let's see. Ari Ashlake. It's just a wild. What is this? Uh, and finding your way into there in this massive empty void. To be honest, I would have never found it without a guide. Yeah. Um, that may be the case for me, too. Where's the... There it is. That's the thing. I mean... It seems dumb, but in my mind, there is something... Are these guys coming back to life? Let me keep running. Yep, they're coming back to life. That's always the beauty of me for a second Souls playthrough is that and it's such a dumb distinction that probably doesn't mean anything, but I can find everything without a guide. Like, making it like this sort of more organic experience than... And that's sort of something you can't get in Elden Ring. Because Elden Ring is, in my mind, it's too big to... Uh, where am I going? These guys stay down. That's true, and there's something to be said about that. On the other hand, I'm a bit lazy, and I don't know if the payoff is ahead. I'm inclined to skip things. Nope, nope, these aren't guys aren't staying down. All right, so where the hell do I go? Yeah, I, I definitely get that. Um, I think I I think I might be slightly the opposite. I think I'm inclined to like, oh, there's a hole here I need to go down uh, in the game, literally, but also in game. Like if there's something over there, I'm like, nope, I got to see where this goes. I can't just walk away. Um, which might be my weirdness. Uh, one of my most rewarding video game experiences was playing Bloodborne along Signa Marcus's epic name rose very detailed lore playthrough. Oh, I could see that. Oh, yeah, I think you mentioned that. I'd already played the game once, but attention to detail took the game from amazing torn away all-time greats and changed how I look at Soulsborne games. I could see that, yeah, just like... Whoop. I like this. Yeah, I tend to be, and this was, you know, if people watch the Shadow of the Earth Tree stream, I tend to be a little like, oh, what's this? What's that? And I spend a long time just walking around trying to find stuff when I should just be focused. But I could see how having someone say like, hey, look over here. And then you sort of like a guided walking tour. Uh, his attention to detail, not mine. Okay. Yeah, I... I, I I knew that, but just to clarify. Um, here's where you can make fire weapons. Fire weapons can be really useful. Um, might be a little late for us. Uh, I need two more chunks, and then I have the slab to get this 15, so I'm going to hold off on the flamberge. Maybe I'll make, let's see, modify equipment. Let's make a fire sword. Why not? Uh, yeah, one that I 
did not know was here until I encountered guides. Because a friend of mine uh, was walking around with a Quelag's Fury sword or whatever. And um, I was like, how the hell did you do that? And he's like, well, you just go to this one. And I'm like, I don't know this one. So, um, yeah. This was one I did not know about for a long time. Can I reinforce the fire sword? Or is that is it? It's just a fire? Yeah. I think you can take these up to plus five. Um, so 169, 169. That's uh, 200, 320, 338. It's getting up there. Um, yeah, the main reason why I like him is just it's a black, it's a bonfire at the beginning of these uh, skeleton wheels for when I screw up. Okay, I'm going to level with you. That makes me want to play Dark Souls 3 more than Dark Souls 1. For all the ham-fisted callbacks. One, for all the ham-fisted callbacks. Two, for the epic boss fights. Three, for the musics. I also want to do that DLC again. Interesting. So, I feel like before Elden Ring... I said this yesterday. If I wanted a little bit of that Souls, I actually preferred playing Dark Souls 3. Let's see how far I can run before I get knifed in the back. Because I think it plays smoother. Um, and there's, yeah, some good boss fights. Etc, etc. Um, Elden Ring now is mechanically the thing I want. It's just so big that um, you couldn't do like a weekend cat ass run. You know what I mean? There we go. Pinwheels down. Um... So yeah, the one I would just hop into for like five or six hours would be Dark Souls 3. The only advantage of Dark Souls 1 is one, nostalgia, I guess. And two, uh, it actually, you know, I don't know about Dark Souls 3, it's been a while, but I can beat this in a weekend. Okay, so I've got, so again, I loathe this area. And at one point I had sort of memorized how to get to the bonfires. I don't have that memory anymore of the fast shortcut, blah, 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 just go. It's probably stuff I can be sliding off and getting. I just don't care. Like I said, I loathe this mechanic. So at the time of this recording, Matt and I have a session coming out on Black Lodge Trivia Night. Let's play. Uh, let's play through. I just looked this shit up. Haha. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not that bad. But yes, it's bad. Um, uh, and in that, Matt was saying, like, "How do you feel about jump scares?" Uh, I'm a big baby about jump scares, but what I actually don't like about jump scares. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you fucking creep. <laughs> oh, hi. I was just standing in your bushes. <laughs> um, yeah, patches. I don't care. Uh, anyway. Um, what I don't like about jump scares in movies is that um, they feel cheap and unearned. It's just a... It's like when the doctor taps your knee and your leg goes won't. Um, yes, you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior. Exactly, Matt. It's just like, oh, God. <laughs> You're right there. Um, yeah. Uh, so in movies, I don't like it because it's, it's because of that. It's, um, it's that sort of... It's that sort of response that I feel like... Seriously, bro? You gonna come at me now? Uh, and fuck, I think I missed a <laughs> bonfire, so I'm back here. Clock 
classic. This game is very liberating when you don't care about most of the items that are dropped. I still have the urge to get them. But you don't have to. So, there is a bonfire in that first section, I think, for the fog gate that I missed. Generally, I don't like New Game Plus, but it is so liberating. Yeah, especially, I will say, in Dark Souls 1, where the final run to the end boss is just like, what do you need? You want uh, Black Knight weapons? Here you go. Here's all of them. You need Tight Knight chunks? Here's them of every color. The only thing they don't give you is slabs, but they just give you literally everything. There's a bonfire around here that I missed that I need to make sure I get. And I thought they kind of guided you to it. I know you can sort of see it. From a ledge. Um... Nope. Yeah, so like in, in setting this stream up, because I was like, oh, let me make sure like the death counter vomit noise works and stuff. I fired up a game that I had just beaten and started some new game plus. And uh, yeah, I walked into the Undead Asylum with a fully loaded Black Knight Halberd and uh, had the Undead Asylum demon drop down on me. And I was like, no, nah, and just destroyed it. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? That was fun. And then by doing that, you get... Do I have to engage with him to get to the bonfire? I don't think so. I thought it was... There we go. Um, and then by beating him in the first part, without running away, you get his special hammer. Um, but yeah, it was just like... Four hits, he was down, and I was on my way. Like you said, it's very liberating. And I've tried a new game just because I was curious of this. And I will say, it's really easy until you get post Anor Lando, Lando. And then you're like, ah, okay, now it's starting to toughen up again. I thought you could walk by this guy. I thought there was a way to get to the next bond. Well, maybe I'm thinking of um, the run to the second bonfire. I don't think this is worth it. So Matt, for what it's worth, I am trying to get my strength up to 40 because I do have uh, Havel's Dragon Tooth. I'm kind of curious <laughs> what it's like to swing that thing. I think I can run off this ledge into this particular hell. <laughs> nope, I can run past him. Oh, if I can run past him, that means I just missed the bonfire. <laughs> These skeletons can now be purchased at your local Home Depot. <laughs> exactly. Also something that was discussed on our last session. Or maybe it wasn't on the, on the session, but we discussed it. We talk about the things that really matter to our listeners. Um...
You're not dead? I'm dead. But yeah, jump scares, you know, going back because of the set. They don't quite do it for me. Um, and it's also, I prefer spooky mood over something jumping out at me. Because I think that takes more skill to execute. Speaking of jump scares, after the party last night, I fired up Dead Space for the first time. Oh, that well, okay. So that's supposed to be a really good game. They is that uh, is it the old one or the remake? This is gonna go poorly. I'm gonna go poorly because I'm getting greedy. Oh, I thought I was dead. <sighs> yeah, nice. I know. You're there. I didn't think I'd remember much, but the environments were coming back to me. Oh, nice. I played the original when it came out. Uh, did the <laughs> GameStop return in seven days? Um, it's remake. Oh, right, right, right. It's, is it free? Uh, well, did you go to the highest tier subscription? Uh, I think. I, oh, that one's actually not a bad thing to get. See, this is frustrating me because where the hell is this other? Oh, you could turn any game in seven days. I'm like, yeah, that's one of the reasons why <laughs> I think they're struggling. Um... <laughs> ring though. Let me just switch rings. Getting greedy. I do have one humanity, but I don't have my covetous serpent's ring on. Nobody cares about your white titanite chunks, sir. Okay, somehow, somewhere, there is a second bonfire here, damn it. And I need to find it, because it, uh, there it is. Because I need to... So it's below me. And behind me. Here we go. So what I might do though is I might attune this one. Uh, I might also level up. Oh, strength's already at 41, so I could be rocking let me see what happens when I equip the Dragon Tooth. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot, I have it assigned in the second slot. The 
This actually might do less damage than what I'm currently working with. Nope. Here's the te check, though. Ugh. Now what am I rocking for rings? First of all, I don't need the rusted iron ring. <laughs> what am I doing? There we go. Uh, I should be able to uh, upgrade this thing at bonfire. So let me do that. Reinforce weapon. Let me put at least a couple points in and see what happens. Uh, how many? Oh, I'm short. Okay. So this actually, yeah, this might not do as much damage as my other weapon. So I might switch back, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so you can run by him. You <laughs> skip him and just fall off. You run around here. This is the first view I got of Ash Lake. Um, well, it's coming up, I guess. And I was like... And I was like, what is this? Uh, let me see. Uh, yes, one is sharp and pointy, the other as well. <laughs> it is a goddamn dragon tooth, so you make the call. <laughs> there we go. That's why I want the second one, because this is a much shorter run. Uh, let's heal up, because uh, under normal times... Yeah, so this is my first view of Ash Lake. And I was like, what is going on here? I was literally... I couldn't take my eyes off it. Will they invade if I'm not in human form? I guess not, right? Oh. I don't think I ever equated that to Ash. Like, I don't... I didn't either... I didn't either until I got to Ash Lake. I was just on my way down here. I was like, wait, what is this? And then at some future point, I got to Ash Lake, and I was like, oh. What does the R2 do? Okay, at least that takes him out in one swing. So you gotta be careful here for the people who don't know, because there's this guy right there who's gonna kick you off a ledge. Classic souls. Before the DLC, this is where you could farm humanity. Uh, don't do that. Uh, don't run off the edge, because then what you do is you get the creepy murder babies coming at you. Where are they? Hello, murder babies. Uh, let's see, what does R2 do? It fucking smashes what it does. Yes, it does. There's a lot of things here you might need. There might even be like a magic titanite slab kind of thing. How am I, I'm, this is shit. Because I forgot to, uh, forgot to pump up the uh, Estes flag, flags. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Wild stream premise. Haha, I love the death counter. Yeah, I started yesterday and I thought I could get through all of it. I could not. Uh, so we're here today trying to finish it up. Uh, you can see my... Oh, toxic. That's what my co co-workers call me. Um, where are you, Nita? I don't want to go too far over. So this runs shit, just so you know. Because I'm basically I'm out of Estes and the fight hasn't started yet. Where is the fuck are you? Here you go. Okay. Oh, that's uh, that's some weak sauce against Nito. Very weak sauce, huh? I'm going to death counter the shit out of DS3. It is a it's a script. Oops, get away. It's a script you can get for um, OBS. Uh, timing again was off. I think I was a little late. I think you really want fire damage for um, 
Neato. Uh, Matt, we need streams like this for people like me that won't be able to see the... <laughs> Patience is low and my Steam queue is high. Yeah, so... Uh, 40 is not that bad. Uh, it's not. Um, but yeah, Matt, if you want to go into that off stream, I can tell you how to set that up. It's, it's not hard. I'm going to pop a couple of humanity. Use item two. I love that 41 popped up as you were saying that. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, reverse hollowing. I guess technically I can send this one up to like 20 now. I don't know if I need to do that, but maybe I should. Um, Kindle. Also, Art, right, you can't half-ass Ungabunga, either all in or not. Well, that's the trick, right? Um, but I do need to do more damage than... Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to do the math really quickly. For a boss fight, it, it's going to matter to me. Okay, so we've got this doing 419. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see what my other main one is. So I've got this Divine Club, which will take care of the ads in one swap, but it's not doing nearly as much damage. Um, I've got things like this, but I'm not quite strong enough. That's actually what I was kind of curious to try was like something like that. Um, and then I've got the fire one, which is going to do, again, like 338-ish. Uh, so definitely less than the dragon tooth. I thought I had more s dragon scales. Uh, Black Knight sword is going to do probably the most at 471. Uh, sorry, 500 and something. Can you two-hand the great axe? Probably, uh, maybe. This is going to do... This does, uh, that does 501. This does uh, 453, almost 470-ish in that ballpark. Uh, what's that? What's the fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the, this is the trap, right? You, you find the weapon and then you can't deviate. I can't deviate because I am terrible. I have 10. Okay, let's... I used to be very good about running this pattern. Now there's a hole. Yeah, if you drop down, turn around. Oh, now I'm going to get invaded because um, I'm in human form. So for that invasion, let's give the people what they want. Can I two-hand that great out? I probably could. Um... Let me just see what happens. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen, right? But yeah, so uh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, I can do that too, says random red guy hanging out on cliff. Is it gone? Humanity, nice. Sanctus, the Grant. The Grant's also another pretty good... Black Knight Sword plus Shield is so damn good in Dark Souls 3, but doing shit like no block helps... Breakthrough team. Yeah. Um, I can't stress this enough. Uh, I am bad at these games. Um, that's pretty good base damage. Let's, let's try this. I mean, the actual answer is just to get through. No, let's try it. Let's. I mean, I, I'm going to be doing this run again anyway, so let's just try it. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I almost reported the stream for excessive bullying. Hey. So I have to do a couple of things. First of all, I need to find a place where I can just hide for a second because once again, I have the wrong equipment. So let's switch my Dragon Crest Shield to the Crest Shield for Magic Defense. Um, I think... I don't know if I need this for this sword. I don't think I need it for the... Oh, shit. <laughs> Murder babies. One time I was fighting Nito and my wife was... Uh, usually I can, like, obviously talk and play the games to some degree. Um, nope, hair late. I was trying to tell her, like, I, well, actually, don't talk to me right now. I, I need to hear that scream. Nope, too early. Honey, whatever you're saying about our monthly budget can wait. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> that's terrible. Where's your dragon tooth now, sir? <laughs> Oops, I think I'm jammed up here. Whoops. At least I'll kill them. Nice. The other thing about this is, I mean, not that it would matter with Nito, but it doesn't do bleed. Is he about to explode on me? No. Now he's about to explode on me, and I'm going to take it right in the mouth. Oh, since I was dead <laughs> on the ground, it didn't affect me. I love that skelly kick. <laughs> no. I'll let this one go. Because I need something that does a little bit more. <laughs> uh, apparently you can't say Nito on Twitch Art introducing new broken hitboxes Yeah <laughs> I do pioneer a lot in this game Oh You can't say Dieldo That's weird I'm here by announcing that I'm moving all of my streaming to a Web3 blockchain backed. No, not really. I think Grant, uh, the thing we got off of that invasion, might be one of the... These old games do faith dirty a little bit, and I think that's a good... Oh, come on. My only critique on Dark Souls 3, other than Catacombs, is no poise. High poison DS1 is so broken and fun. Yeah, I am... Um... I referred to a friend of mine a number of times who is a huge Souls fan. Uh, he would not go back and play Dark Souls 3 because he thought the lack of poise ruined it. I 
think I'm going the wrong way. Uh, it's just one of those, you know, like, he got used to the mechanics in Dark Souls 1. He thought the mechanics were great. And so when they would tweak stuff, um, like that, he was like, what are you doing? Why do I have to keep watching this? Too early. Perfect. I need to get a... Well, it's too late. I've already triggered the giants. A single time there. <laughs> ah. Actually, what I should I don't I actually don't mind this fight. Um, even though I'm terrible at it. Is he doing that again? I just don't like the run up to it. Um there a little bit. Let him clear the field. I don't think I'm going to get far enough away. This is not where you want to be when he's about to do that. <laughs> Get greedy. I'm out of stamina. I missed. <laughs> Still out of stamina. He's dead. Does everything else die when I... Please. I was about to type get greedy. <laughs> yeah. It's the one thing I say I should never do, and then I do it every time. There we go. Uh, Nito's down, which means... I am down to the last Lord Soul. Well, part of the Marikamo is it's a dex weapon, so turning that, you know, it's a limp one to turn into a fire weapon. I just don't. Oh, a Flames Vihander. Hmm. Mad asks, Hector, what's your favorite build in Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, or Elden? Uh, what am I doing? I actually have to go to the fire to get out of here. Okay, so now I need to go to... and Orlando. This is actually dumb. I should go to Firelink Shrine first, but it's too late now. This one's out. Actually, says basic as fuck. Strength plus stamina and Elden. Very nice. We all know art. Sword and board with 
low fat ice vanilla latte on the side. Please. This is a bespoke uh, custom blend iced tea with organic lemon. Pokey Frost Thrust Weapon, which I call the Icy Hot. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Frost in, um, if you're talking about Elden Ring, Frost is, uh, got some stuff going on. I fucking hate these things. So what I tried to do is I tried to run past them last time, so let me do that now. It's a comedic effect. Oh, did that one get me? No. Then you run into this asshole. Oh, right, I died up there last time. So all I want to do is I just want to fire off this bonfire, but it's not going to let me while those two guys are there, I don't think. And because of that, I don't know what to do. So what I tried last time was just hanging out and letting him calm down. First one's calm. Second one's calm. And I think I need them to return to... Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if... Well, I... No, that's not true. I have my shit fire sword. Where is it? But I don't have any fire bombs. I don't have anything like that. I don't think. Yeah, like in a normal world, I just walk in there and start chucking black fire bombs. I, but I don't have them. Let me see if it'll let me do the bonfire now. No, because that ticks them off again. And at this point, I'm sort of screwed. I need to do both. By the way, did I miss your flight sim phases? I saw these joysticks posts on Discord, but no flight sim streams. I want to see Art do a coast-to-coast -coast red eye marathon. Uh, you're <laughs> also with. The oh, did I miss a death? Oh, with the death counter and the flight sim. Yeah. <laughs> Shit just got real. Okay. Uh, where can I buy firebombs? Who sells firebombs? Let me warp to the Firelink Shrine. There's a brief window where I got into Elite Dangerous. Yeah, what happened to that? I need to get back to Elite Dangerous. What I've often heard is that the best thing to do when you're streaming is just to stream the exact same thing at the exact same time for the rest of your life. So, Matt, I'm afraid you're committed. I only say that because... I selfishly enjoyed watching the Elite Dangerous because I'm... That's an aspirational game. Now that I picked up the ED basics, I'm going to go back to Dark Souls, <laughs> where I'll do half a run of something before mixing it up nice. Oh, come on. Oh. Sir. This is actually the actual problem I have with this weapon, is that the swing is so slow. <laughs> it's not my skill, it's this swing. You know, what you're describing, Matt, is what I actually do with war games. I'm like, oh, let me start reading this rule book. And then about halfway through the rule book, I'm like, oh my god, look at that rule book. And I, or, and I just immediately, and I never, I'm never able to get anything for me to the table because I can't decide. I keep... I'm not here for moss. I'm just here for bombs if you have oh 
Okay. Uh, but that's not... Ah, shit. I mean, that could help, but that's not all I'm here for. Story of my life. Work, games, home projects. Okay. Strategy for these boars. Firebomb them, then bunga their unga before they unga your bunga. Yeah. Uh, the problem is I don't know where to get firebombs. You know what I never did? Uh, you know what I could do? Well, smashing intensifies. What I could actually do is I could... Hello there. Yeah, I don't want your... He's not going to talk to me because I'm too stupid. I respect that. Uh, man, so what am I going to do? You know what I could do? It's really dumb. Which means it's right up my alley. I'm just assuming that Twitch won't let me say stab their butts. Oh, look at that. Finally, a streaming platform that has the courage for Black Lodge Trivia Night to say what they really feel. Did I start with... Yeah. Yeah, just to... Uh, <laughs> for anybody who's actually interested, um, the entire run of this is going to go up as an archive on our YouTube channel. I'm going to, I think I'll just stitch them together into one 12 hour video or whatever. And then I'll just dump it up there. People were curious about what was going on in the, uh, let's see. I'm assuming that Twitch won't. So a little tip when you get into the room, try pressing alt F4. Um, that closes the game, right? Does it sort of, is that sort of like the trick where you restart the game and it sort of resets all the enemies? I might have to do that. But let me sh there's one other tactic I could try if I don't want to go that cheesy. Oh shit, no, he's in the depths. I'm going the wrong way. Not the depths. Um still following me Somebody. yeah I never freed this guy that's yeah I actually yeah exactly the capper demon I do this guy really late because um, because I find the fight a little tricky so it's just and you don't have to do it um, I always is this the room yeah, I always thought this was interesting. The clothes he's wearing, this corpse is wearing. So I always wondered if that was like sort of like a timeline thing or whatever, like where you bring people in from different summoning signs and blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, uh, shit. I don't want to do this. I want to go past everybody and get to the depths. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Am I going to make it? <laughs> Almost there. Uh, 
have time to get that off. Right, or he ate them and hid the body in the barrel. Yeah, no, I was here with my, my brother, and, um... <laughs> Don't need to do it, but let's do it. Got to free this guy, uh, the Pyromancer. Bring the Pyromancer will allow me to cast Fireball. I don't need my nightlight on, but if it's here, I might as well do exactly. I'm not saying I'm afraid of the dark. I'm just saying if I have to go to the bathroom at night. It's down here. the hell is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of those... I've never seen this thing before in my life. Oh, wait, no. I've been here dozens of times. And I was actually here three days ago. Yeah, this area is pretty good. I, I gotta admit, I speed run ish I just cut right through, uh, which is probably why I miss things like this. You know, I go right down the little secret entrance, like down the slide, next thing you know, you're all the way at the bottom. Where's this guy? There he is. Yep. You must help me. You're helped. Okay. Zack. Can we say that on this platform? Okay. Um, let's head over here. Let's warp. Firelink Shrine. You can't. Interesting. So, yeah. Today I'm on a little bit more of a timer. I was saying is at the top of the stream. So... We'll see how this goes. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to burn whatever I have soul-wise. Ball sacks. Yeah, you can... So I got to be careful with this guy because I think this is the one time you got to say something no. Yeah, I made it out safely too. I have my pyromancer in a great storm, so I can use the memory to a bit of care. Oh, yeah. Hashtag humble brag. Although I was trapped in a barrel. I can usually handle my own because of uh, my magic, but uh, you did just free me from a barrel. Shit, do I want to answer yes or no? Perfect. Okay, so let's pick up. Uh, what's the difference between Fire Orb and Fireball? <laughs> when a new viewer comes in, looks at the chat, and immediately leaves. Yeah. We have that effect on people. Uh, Iron Flash Sweat. I don't think I need any of these at this point. Uh, nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, hello. Oh, that's all. Uh, modify equipment. Now, the problem is, I don't know if I can actually attune all that many spells, so I don't know why I just bought two. Uh, do I have other souls I can burn on this? That's cool looking. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this just went from Unga Bunga to Great Balls of Unga. Yes. Um, do I have more souls? Yes, I do. I'm sure I could Alt F4 or whatever, and it would sort of reset things. Cause I think I think isn't that a trick speedrunners do a lot? But I'd like to see if I can actually handle my business a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough to upgrade it anymore, but. Okay, it's one more at least. Okay. Or don't Alt F4. Yeah, but can't you quit out of the game? Like, can't you go to the menu and then when you come back in... Oh, shit. I just fucked that up. <laughs> Let me go back. Because unless they want me casting light at it with my pyromancy glove, I need to attune the correct spell. Um... I'll do this one. <laughs> Downloading user map on StarCraft Brood War needs to increase your speed. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, let me see. There's. I thought there was one that increased how many um, slots you had. Maybe not. Now we can warp. Going to Anna Orlando. Now, out of curiosity, when people do dive back into Dark Souls, do they leave this area sunny or do they go night? I think I did night in my last playthrough. Yeah, I, I think I tend to do it now just because it gets rid of a lot of the... Once you deal with the invasion, it gets rid of a lot of... Um, the stuff that you have to deal with moment to moment running around. But it does cost you... Uh, for gameplay impl implications for the vibes. For me, for the vibes... There are gameplay implications. Like I said, it does get rid of a lot of enemies. Show me that ass. Here we go. Ugh. I don't know if... You know, I was going to waste one. What happens if you hit it? Uh, how many bosses do you have left? That I have to beat? Seath? <laughs> I don't want to waste a fireball, but <laughs> what if I what if I waste two? Basically, I'm trying to see what happens when you hit him in the front, because it still do the same damage. It does. So, of the bosses that I have to beat, there's Seath, and then there's the final. Forty-eight damage. Eh. I mean, I could just chip away at this thing for the rest of my life, I guess. That's not bad. Are you going to do that? I'm going to do this. Man, this guy doesn't care. Now, here's a controversial hot take. I don't know if I have time to do the DLC. That's the trick. Um, that's not the controversial hot take. That is a statement of fact. The hot take is... 
<laughs> Excuse the site tells me that Alt F4. The controversial hot take is that um Stabs butt. I did. You ready for this? I think over time the DLC is not as good as you remember or as I thought it once was. It's really good for the story. Um Oh. <laughs> We're not fucking around. That guy's coming up the stairs. He never did that before. Um, the DLC has two great fights in it. Artorias and Calamite. Calamite was great because it was the first time they did a dragon fight and it was pretty solid. Because if you... I don't think you can call the Drake fight on the bridge in Undead Berg. I'm going to take this one. All that interesting. But Calamite's solid, but Calamite... And it was actually better than a lot of the dragon fights in, like, Dark Souls 2, and I don't remember Dark Souls 3. But, um... But what you have is... Yeah, he's gonna kick me in the head. Can you thrust into the backside? Could you be more descriptive? I'm not sure what you're trying to... Um... But the dragon fights in Elden Ring are way better. Of course, because they can iterate. So it's not a knock against Calamite. Um, and Artorias was sort of the first time you had like a real great duel like that. But now that's become what every fight is in later Souls. And But once you get past those two things, I don't find the final fight with Manus interesting at all. And I don't love running through the open area. There's a lot of open space that doesn't need to be there. But, you know, what, is, what does that even mean? I don't know. But yeah, so I'm not sure what to do about the DLC. Because, I, like I said, and luckily you can get to Artorias pretty quickly. And then once you get through Artorias... You know, Calamite's not that far away. Once you do the, so the two best fights are almost like right next to each other. I need you to hit this guy. A little English on that uh, arrow shot. Luckily, I got the bonfire. So, yeah, I'm sort of having that debate. Given the time constraints, what do I do? Lore wise, I love the DLC. Everybody does, because it has a lot of great story. The tale of Artorias is incredibly tragic. Um, Calamite's a good dragon fight. Manus I don't love. But I guess, I guess the whole thing, the DLC, again, when you're not actually exploring it, the DLC's a lot shorter. Than it. You don't have to do everything. I do miss the, uh, in Elden Ring, the counter. The DLC is definitely worth doing once, at a minimum, because um, like I said, some of the fights are really good, and uh, you know it might do more damage against these guys. Uh. 
Ugh, look at all that action. Don't need that anymore. Switch this to Havel's Ring. We're back. Did it work? <laughs> Is he dead? Uh, let's see. I don't see that I've unlocked any trophies for the DLC on the remaster. I'm really questioning if I've ever played it. It's absolutely worth trying out. It's also really obtuse how you get to it. By the way, do you guys have recordings of Matt playing the VR train game I suggested? I don't know. Matt? Are you serving your fan base? So the way you get to the DLC is you kill this guy right here. <laughs> That's the whole trick. Does it make sense? Hard to say. But you have to kill this guy. Because when you kill this guy, you will drop the broken pendant. Now you might need to I don't know if you need to free Ooh Seal past the Hydra before you do it. Uh, let's see. I think I do on History on the Table. Uh, I need the VODs. Uh, man, I was thinking about Derail Valley this morning. I don't know Derail Valley. Wrong time to do that, but that's okay. I don't think I got him. Oh, let's see, played Arts and Dark Souls of Train Games. <laughs> Says the guy that barely plays either. That's where I look to get my information. When I don't know much about something, I make sure to let people know what they should be doing. You think that ivermedicine stuff just started on its own? No. This guy. Now, where did he go? I do like pancaking people. Not a sex thing. Um, Zweihander. Exactly. As long as you say it with confidence. I say a lot of things with confidence. Like, I can beat this game in one day. <laughs> Oh, F you, buddy. Chose the wrong staircase. So first of all, let's um pancake this guy. Let's pop that. Let's make sure I've got the right shield on. Crest shield it is. Okay. Can I cut across? See what happens. Okay, so at a minimum, I think that guy is gone for good. Uh, all right, I didn't mean to hijack your DLC discussion, but I do want to know what is your favorite Dark Souls 1 boss to fight. Uh, so the Dark Souls 1 boss that I enjoy the most fighting is either one of two. Um... It's either the Undead Asylum Demon or... No, it's just the easy ones, right? Ha ha ha. No. Um, the ones I enjoy fighting the most are Ornstein and Smau. And these aren't going to be interesting answers. I beat this. Nope. <laughs> Shit. The weakness of this has been exposed. 
Uh, yeah, because it's just it's a classic, and then Artorias because it's a good duel that was sort of new for the time. That was my get fucked swing. Um, Ornstein and Smau does have a slight bend to the left. Yeah. Um, Ornstein and Smau for the. Did I get him? I beat for the first time by myself in my run yesterday. Usually I at least call in Sunbro. Um, but yeah, yesterday I ran out of humanity, so I had to, I couldn't even jack up my, um, oh, you know what, I should put a different ring on. Should have had a ring of sacrifice. Anyway. Um, but I actually prefer to summon in people for that fight. Not because I technically need it, because as I demonstrated in the run yesterday, I can beat the fight by myself. Um, but because it's just, that's what everybody likes to jolly co-op. It's so much fun. I mean, you beat the fight in about two seconds. And... Um, It's not challenging at all, but it's just, you know, it's part of what makes these games so great, if you don't know, is the community. Uh, there's a lot of players out there that want to help, that are looking to jump in and give you a hand, who just enjoy having a reason to play Ornstein and Smau. Um, so I tend to like to bring people in and then what you do is you sit there and you put your sign down and when the game is active you then help other people and you rack up a ton of souls and that lets you go to the, uh, the blacksmith there and mess with different builds and all that stuff uh, yeah so the dual fights are amazing I'll never forget my first go at Sister Freed and Slave Knight Gale Slave Knight Gale especially might be my is that the one at the end of the DLC for Dark Souls 3 yes okay and yeah and Hector yeah everybody if, if you want to put in your favorite fights I'd love to see them um, yeah they are that one's really really good and it's another one I like to co-op um, because because of the implications I love being at the end of time essentially running down that hill and you're just seeing um, you know the few last survivors like crawling through the did that not give me a key? Um, so the staging for it is just epic I thought that was going to give me a key did it, did it drop in the ground? I just need to pick it up there we go From Dark Souls, it's easy, but Bell Gargoyle. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, always hold a special. Sif. Yeah, Sif is it's good. I feel so bad about that. Ornstein Smau. Uh, no DS1 experience. Malaketh, the Black Blade for Elden Ring. I would be curious, if you ever went back to Dark Souls 1, what that would be like for you. Malaketh. And Malaketh, that weapon, the Black Blade, is so good. Um, I don't know if you use it much in your runs after you beat Malaketh, but um, that was basically my go-to sword in the DLC. When I was coming up to a boss, I whipped that thing out a lot. And um, Yeah, these guys might be better served with the... So they're going to climb up there and they're going to close the door. I can't worry about that yet. So yeah, if you don't know D Dark Souls 1, I mean, if you want to watch the whole stream, you can. I also did a more thorough run where I go through stuff. 
I love this area. I don't know if it's got a lot of fans. Um, if I can kill these guys. First of all, you got the sort of these like cosmic horror -y kind of monsters. You don't get these a lot in Souls. Sif is more implications the actual fight mechanics. Yeah, the fight is just such a that's such a tough fight. Not difficulty, but what you're doing and why is heartbreaking. Malekith was wild, yeah. But I love this idea of just like the last respite for knowledge is in this giant this giant this is a Duke's archive again. The rest of the level, actually, I don't. I find a little irritating, but this part of it, though. When we tier rank every Soulsborn boss, I'll need to do a refresh. On. That's why we're never going to do it. <laughs> you got to be able to just, again, say it with confidence. Kill a couple of them at the same time. This might kill me. Maybe not. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can watch a video on each. That's good. And again, we have to make sure Patrick is uh, Patrick is on for it. <laughs> Moonlight Butterfly. I like that fight. Um, yeah, I definitely want to play at least Dark Souls. We play two and three. Yeah, Dark Souls... Here's Logan. Okay. So basically, if you're curious, that noise you're hearing is their alarm system. Uh, it's, I find it to be like beautiful soundtrack to go along with the ambience, uh, to create the ambience for this massive library. Um, did he run away? No, there he is. This guy I can kill in one. So, oh, I thought I could, so let me get rid of him. And they need to remaster Bloodborne. Yeah, they... I mean, I know you can... Some people think it's going to be like a, a... PS6 seller, the way Demon Souls was for this. You've probably heard those rumors. You probably have heard you can do it on your PC through emulation pretty well. There you go. We need that key. Yeah, I don't know if you know. Matt's a fan of Dark Souls 3, so he'd be down for anybody replaying that. I need to replay that. I don't know what the right way to approach is. That's the one Souls game we don't have on the YouTube channel at the moment. Uh, definitely, yeah. If you if you put it up there, so Matt, you know, given how much you enjoy Bloodborne, do you just, I mean, especially now that it's on the PS5, do you just fire it up? Do you every once in a while give it a shot? Played it about six months ago. That's not bad. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, I think so, yeah. Um, if you have it on disc, I, I believe so. Of course, there's a lot of hidden ways you can start going through platforms, dropping down to ledges, etc., etc. I probably should be doing a little bit of that because I need Twinkling Titanite, but um, I guess I could just go buy that if I wanted to. Uh, not Twinkling Titanite. I need um, Titanite Chunks. That I don't know if you can buy. You know, maybe you could buy it. Oh, you know where you might be able to buy that? Might be able to buy that. Here's another one where I've got the bow and arrow guy, and I think to the left is this guy. Yeah, you could stream that as well. Um, yeah, does uh, the PS5 let you hook that up to Twitch? I have a way where I send it through my PC. I think so. Okay. Like I was saying, I know people say, like, when you make a channel, you should make it just be about exactly one thing, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. but I like the idea, I don't know if Matt agrees, but I like the idea about of this being about, like, all sorts of role-playing games, and CRPGs fall into that, in my mind. Especially now that you got games like Divinity Original Sin, Baldur's Gate 3, like, or the, uh, Celestra. There's one that's actually a better, some people say it's a better 5e adaptation than Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I think there's a lot to talk about with those two. It's, you know... And then that then involves how we got to this point, et cetera, et cetera, which is why I do stuff like Darklands for a little while, which I feel like I should put a bow on. Do one more session just to wrap it up permanently. Um, because I ran into a bit of a wall. Darklands, yes. I love that game. Um, but it's an old game. It involves a lot of randomization. And uh, it punishes mistakes. It punishes a lack of familiarity. So as much as I tried to use a build guide going in, because I knew there were some things you just had to do, there were some things that I still screwed up. And... Um, And I was coming to a realization, like, I think I need to roll a new party, which is not a hard thing to do in Darklands. Um, you know, it's even made so that if you want to bring in new characters to your existing party as you go, you can. And so I was thinking, like, I might have to, like, strip all my old equipment. Oh, shit, I thought I was going to get that swing off. Really? Oh, this is where I came from. Okay. Uh, let's see. Have you looked into Wukong? Yes. Um, so what I've heard about that game uh, looks really good. Intentionally not looked much into it because I know I'd probably buy it. It's supposed to be really good, but I think the thing is it's not a Souls game. Uh, 
Um, true, maybe on the first sale. Uh, I think... I don't know if that makes sense. Um, the mechanics are a little more like a... What I heard is more like a action fighting game. Like, um... Devil May Cry. So I ended up holding off. I don't know if that's actually true. There's a couple of Souls games that have come out recently. Um, not Souls games, Souls likes. One is Wukong, one is... Um, I'm never going to remember it. Now if I had my light spell... I thought in one of these rooms you could get behind the bookshelves and there was like a chest there. Uh, let's see, I played the Korean one for a bit, it was fine. Um, Shit. I wish I could. There's one that came out where, like the settings a little different. Uh, did I already pull this? I did. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Don't need that. Lies of P is another one, yeah. Archive giant. Oh, that's to free the other guy. Hades 2, yeah, not. Uh, supposed to be very good. do is I'm gonna I don't know if I uh, I don't know if I need to do this but let's do this did did you guys ever play like Lords of the Fallen like the new one like they remade it um, and then the same company made two sci-fi ones that I can't remember at the moment. I don't know if they're worth trying. I've, I've heard they are very much trying to be Souls-like experiences. Again, I don't know if I need 20 on this one, but why not? Now, I'm wondering if this is like a dragon. And so, because I don't really care, I'm going to skip the rest of uh, the level. Start going straight for uh, Seath. Not that I need to. I'm going to hit this golden one here. Uh, 
It's <laughs> a lot of big talk about how I was going to hit this golden one here coming into this fight. So I don't know what happens with uh, that storyline. I've screwed it up. But I'm curious where he ends up. If you screw it up. I know if you do it right, he ends up in Ash Lake. And it's incredibly tragic. But if you do it wrong... I don't think he ends up in Ash Lake, but I don't know where he goes. For the completionist, there's a lot of little hidden yada yadas here. I don't actually know what's here. Oh, okay. Well, we're at a bit of an impasse here. More moonlight butterflies. Uh, have any of you guys jumped into VR? Headsets are pretty cheap. That the new ones got revealed. Might up your ED experience, Matt. Also, VTOL VR has been by far my favorite flight sim. Um, I do have... I have an older one, though, and I have used it to try Elite Dangerous. Um, I have not gone down the VR rabbit hole yet. Um, I will say this. I really liked it. Um, but what I found, it's, it's actually incredible. It's genuinely incredible. Um, did you immediately vomit? No, not with the flight sim. I did get pretty rough with, um, No Man's Sky VR. Oops, I want to go the other way. Um, that I didn't care for. Because that would feel like an art thing. Uh, yeah, no, not... But what I did, um... But I will say, with, uh... Uh, with Elite Dangerous, it worked really well. Uh, cockpit games, you don't get motion sickness. Exactly. Um, so if you cut that big tail off, you get the Moonlight Greatsword. Uh, that's an intelligence build greatsword. I don't really need it. Um... 
it was incredible in Elite Dangerous, but what I didn't like about it, and this isn't a big deal, was the resolution's a lot lower, right? Which makes sense, it's VR. And I think, ooh, shit. I missed the, I missed that in the game. I realized I'd much rather have the improved screen than If I get cursed, I'm going to be pissed. I think I'm going to get cursed. Nope, not yet. Well, the Dark Souls camera here is working wonders. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, small text in the monitor, that kind of stuff, yeah. So, in the cockpit itself, it's crazy. Um, but then when I'm trying to read the, the stuff in the cockpit, it gets a little tricky. And so, when the high res, and they're coming out, but like, you know, if they had like, dual 4K screens. Um, the immersion, though, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy, um, and I loved it. The other trick, and this might be a thing that Matt encounters, <laughs> um, I think your family might think you're a little inaccessible when you're wearing a headset and you can't see anything and you're like, everyone, I need to be in my spaceship. Uh, so if you could just leave me alone. It's, it's a little isolating where when I'm in a screen, uh, I feel like I can, people feel like they can talk to me <laughs> and say like, hey, did you take the garbage out? Uh, did you pay the electrical bill? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. None of this, like, why doesn't Daddy talk to us? <laughs> you know, why does Daddy wear his eyeglasses all the time? Nope. Bonk. All right. Uh, Seath is dead, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> what are we doing here? Um, okay, checking on my timer. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's a little isolating, but when Iron Golem is kicking my ass, I can yell openly at my family to leave me alone. Well, I mean, that's a Souls game. That's the, uh, that's the exception. They should know better. No. I should have explained it. The importance better. It's not their fault. It's mine. Um, let's see. Let's get strength up even more. Going for 50 strength, and then we'll go from there. Uh, what do we do? Okay, so that's it. We have the four Lord, Lord uh, whatevers. Um, I don't think I picked up anything that would let me... So now what we can do is we're going to warp to... Um, what is it? It's not the abyss. Let's just start here. Yeah, the counterpoint to VR is souls, where I can hopefully interact with my family. <laughs> um, he never left. Or is this the daughter? Okay. I can, if you're curious where he is. He's in the uh, Blighttown Swamp at the bottom. You need to bring Purple Moss to help him out. He's stuck in the swamp. And uh, you need to help him with poison. Poison cures. So here we are. Sigmire figurines. Do they sell those? I 
Oh, they must sell those, right? So I'll explain the timer. The timer is my family's out of town. And when I see them leave, because we have the phone apps that let you be stalkers, then I sort of know I've got about four hours until they're home. And so then I have to remember, what do I, okay, what do I need to do before they get here? So, if we want to, we can go beat the game. Praise the sun, yes. Hey, Nictobia, how are you? Uh, the other thing that we can do here, which I appreciate about this game, let me see if I need this, is we can put on our covetous gold serpent ring, and we can basically get anything we need that we've missed. Want a Black Knight halberd? They've got you covered. You need titanite chunks or twinkling titanite of certain colors. They've got you color covered. You can just sit here and you can farm for exactly what you want. So that when you go into New Game Plus, you're fully stocked. Yeah, so I need a couple titanite chunks for this sword. I think I need one more. This guy's got the Black Knight Greatsword, which I never picked up. Now, a lot of weapons, when you start getting them to max level, I think they will compete with Black Knight Swords, uh, Black Knight weapons, but maybe they're still the best. Again, I know everybody loves the uh, Black Knight Halberd. I need one more Titanite chunk. If I can get that. Somehow I forgot Gwyn in our ranking. Gwyn deserves, I think, a high... You can just fall off the ledge. Thoughts on Gwyn? Um, I really like Gwyn. I don't know if we should, again, be saving this for our four-hour epic holiday special tier ranking of all bosses that Patrick's going to moderate. Um, it's a good fight, but I also appreciate a couple of things about it. One, the music. Two, the fact that he's sort of a shadow of himself. He's not full strength. Which they do again in like Dark Souls 2 and stuff more blatantly. It's a tough fight, but if you can parry him, it's an easy fight. That's, I think, what I mean by he's, like, a shadow of himself. White, okay, so maybe only the first guy gives you a tight, tight chunk. get the halberd. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to the bonfire. Alright, need to get up and do some stuff. Keep fighting the good fight art. Love the stream. We'll check back once I get the garage in order. Nice. Thank you for jumping in. It was uh, good to chat. So, like I was saying, my timer has not started yet. I think they're still where they are. So I might mess around with the DLC a little bit. Like I said, we could just beat the game right now. But I'll get this Titanite chunk here, so then we can... Hopefully upgrade current weapon to 15. There we go. Okay, we're gonna 
reinforced weapon. And now Titanite slab it to plus 15. We're gonna warp to um, Undead Parish. Okay, oh damn, I won uh, your Rings of Power Season 2 thoughts. Being a Lotro nerd, I just just give the camera a thumbs up. Have not watched it. I will give you my thoughts on season one, which were mixed. Um, I thought it was moving way too slowly. I thought sometimes there was an interesting mix of sets that looked like, not to disparage this, but like Xena, the Princess Warrior kind of sets, like that sort of lower tier. Um, but then the last couple of episodes I really liked. So I haven't checked out two yet because I was waiting to see if my daughter had any interest in watching it. Um, she hasn't shown too much interest yet. But I am hoping to check it out. Um, I'd be curious to hear what you thought. Uh, can I reinforce armor? Uh, what about reinforce shields? What does it take to reinforce the crest shield? Not bad. Okay. I have the same thoughts. I didn't like the beats on season one and hated a lot of the characters. It was saved by the last two seasons. Yes, yeah, episodes, yes. I'm only in episode three of season two and it's N. That's going to be a hell of a cliffhanger to leave us on. Basically, what I'm curious to hear is from somebody who is in the same boat as I am, which it sounds like you are, where... Um... <laughs> Where you saw it, thought it was saved in the end. Does season two go with that vibe, or does season two fumble? So, okay. The official hot take is that season two is the letter N. I wonder if he's going to say it's not good or not bad. I think people, not that it matters much, I think people have been somewhat enjoying the Lord of the Rings book quest runs. Um, so hopefully I live long enough to complete that. Uh, well, I mean, it's an MMO. The idea is that they'll never complete it. Uh, oops. All right. Catch you all later. Um, wait, but we still don't... Um, <laughs> Uh, I need the rusted iron ring. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know we're not going to get that answer. Oh, well. <laughs> Just kidding. The first three episodes have been great quality. Okay. That's exact. I'm really happy to hear that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, that's, that's great to hear. I'll, I'll see if we can talk my, uh, if my daughter wants to check it out, I'll see if she wants to check it out with me. My wife has next to zero interest in any of that. Um, she's been kind enough. My, I was curious about the fallout show. And so I just started watching it and my daughter was like, oh, I'll watch it with you. She's really into it. Um, which surprised me. Better character development, way better pace. Oh, good. That was really... The pacing, especially, was sort of the Achilles heel, I thought, of season one. And Fallout, she's been really digging the show. And, um...
I've been digging as well. And then she was like, you know, is the game like this? And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, it is pretty true to the game. But I'm like, but it's very similar to she tried Skyrim for a little bit. And she didn't love it. I'm like, you know, but that's kind of what it is. She's like, ah, okay. I wonder if I should kindle this bonfire. Sanctuary Guardian. All right. It's been a long time since I've done any of these fights, so I apologize. So Matt, if you haven't done the DLC, I would be curious to how it goes with True Ungabunga. Um, because everything's really fast in the DLC. Yeah. So I'd be curious how tanking it works. It's the only way to be sure you could load your save, yeah. <laughs> and then I say everything's really fast, and then I tank 12 shots in the face. Kill me. Drink a potion. <laughs> so close. So close. This isn't familiar at all. Yeah, this is, um, DLC starts you out with a bang. I didn't get a shot off there? Hmm. Even like slow weapons can be a bit of a, a hazard. Uh, like Artorias, sometimes like even when I was using the Bastard Sword or the Claymore, like the swings were a little slow. Sif is Artorius's partner, and that's why, like, when you're... Nope, that's bad. You get the crest of Artorius at that grave site to go into the abyss. And the whole story is that Artorius went before you to stop what was going on and failed. Or maybe he succeeded, but um, he went, like, hollow or something. And that's why he's still here. 
It's a really great, if you don't know the lore, it's a great story. And it's why the DLC is rightly praised. It's a little bit of a delay there that almost got me, but I luckily compensated. Spoiler alert, uh, Sif is in the DLC in a way. Oh, that was a three, four. So if you know the lore of, uh, Dark Souls 1, you know, there is new uh, An Orlando ruins. So I think I have this right. The ruins exist because the abyss was sort of creeping up into the real world. And maybe that's part of why the people in An Orlando wanted to keep the like age of light going. You know, I don't know if I have this right, but when they saw the abyss creeping up, they decided they needed to shut it down. So they quarantine the whole area and then they murder everyone. Um, that's the basics, I think, of an Orlando Ruins. It's to seal it off to keep the abyss from creeping up. The DLC covers a lot of the story of the abyss. I'm two, two levels away from getting uh, 50. Um, Artorius was sent by, I don't know who, I think, to destroy the source of the abyss. I think uh, where the pygmies come from, et cetera, et cetera. I think this is in the ballpark. Um... And I think he failed. I, I believe he failed. Um, again, just say yes to everyone except the pyromancer. Um, I don't think I actually care about this. What can we get? Repair powder. Some spells. Another catalyst, which we don't need. Becomes corrupted. Yes, yes. So he... Maybe he does succeed, but gets corrupted. Um... I need about 15,000 souls. That's not going to do it. Now, nah, hold on to that for now. And so you're sort of sent back in time in the DLC to see what's up. Again, there's a ton, and this area very much is Darkroot Garden in a different time, in a different place, so to speak. Like Darkroot Gar uh, Dark Garden, whatever the forest area is, they give you the flowers that can light the path. If you don't need to actually explore, it's not that bad. I This is my probably sad... I'm a terrible person. Hot take. I don't love exploring this part of it. So I'm happy to just burn through it. Which again was sort of what I was getting at. Like the DLC and my terrible hot take. I don't love 
I love the couple of fights in it. I don't love doing most of it. Um, I need to get over there. I know, makes me a terrible person. There's Kalanit. Sup, dog. Part of this remind me of Dark Souls 3. Uh, yeah, in terms of lore-wise or what you're seeing. I can see both because it is... Oh, don't go off the ledge. They do definitely have callbacks. Um, but here you can see the abyss creeping up. Oh, this area. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm hearing thunder. That's the part of the game, right? I was about to say, it's really good sound design. It's nicely done. But then I couldn't tell if it was actually outside. Which also might be nicely done sound design. Okay, here's the question. Can I blow past these guys? get to where I'm trying to go. I'm going to try. Okay, there's that. Now I need to open up the other shortcut before I go on. And again, also not, not maybe not tremendously interesting level design, hard to say. As opposed to some of the early souls. Let's talk to this guy. Snatched by a shack. Yep. Yes, of course. We are both strangers, but at least. Did you happen across not, not yet. legendary? Well, if you haven't, it's just he's a cut. <laughs> Let's see what he sells. Oh, now I can get fire bombs. Great. I got 27 grand. Is anything interesting? Nope. Okay. So long. Well, Matt, if you have not done this, here's your first peek. Expect this death counter to explode while I try and figure this out. I'm going to let the opening cutscene play. It's really good. Okay, things to note. Artorius is left-handed, um, but you can see that arm is shot. So he's coming at you with his off limb. <laughs> and he's still one of the toughest fights in the game. Delay there, I was a little early on. You can probably get a shot in there. Sometimes I just let him do his thing because of that AOE at the end. Nope. 
Nope. This is the three. to roll to the side or in. Didn't do it. Delay. Screwed that up. Definite delay. Screwed that up. Nope. Shit. I'm out. <laughs> Oh, I should have put some humanity on. No. Nope, that's it. Oh, no, I'm not dead yet. Now I'm dead. All right. Stuck at the office working on tap. Oh man, you gotta work today? That sucks. Don't they know that Sunday is for souls? Um, let's uh, boost this up. It's a good fight, yeah. Um, I'm gonna use a couple of these up. I think this was a safe one to boost. Yeah, and honestly, like, if you've played later games, um,. I did not just demonstrate this, but if you've played later games, especially Elden Ring, this is what basically every fight from here, because the fans loved it so much and they just do it a ton. So it's actually a lot slower and a lot easier than a lot of fights in Elden Ring. So you shouldn't have actually too much trouble once you kind of get an idea of what's going on. A lot of data entry stuff today. So soccer's on the... Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh... We'll, we'll jack this one up to 20. I don't know if we're going to need this one much after this, but maybe we will. Uh, nope. <laughs> Just hitting a lot of incorrect buttons. Let's try it again. Kindle, yes. Okay, here we go. Give another shot. Uh, there we go. Got to get that wet, wet. Death counter noise going. So since we opened up the shortcut, this run's actually not terrible. But this is one of those things where it makes me grateful for the stakes of America. Because when it's a good fight, you just want to get right to it. And this is a good fight, so. Especially since this time tax here is almost non-existent and um, there's just, I mean, there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing to the run, you know, it's just like, why am I it's just a time tax that um, is not interesting at all. Demon Souls might be the most egregious for the runbacks, but <laughs> you do have to make sure you actually do the whole thing, so to speak. Uh, yeah, a number of good, great fights get soured by terrible runbacks. Absolutely. The final boss of the DLC, I would argue, is one of them. <laughs> Great start.
Why do you usually did three? Slap there. Uh, you can't send those. Uh, can you send those elevators back up? I don't know. Uh, maybe you can. I should have. Although that's just admitting defeat beforehand, isn't it? <laughs> Great timing. Paid for that dearly. Now nah, you'll beat him. No need. <laughs> okay, I'm at 20. Good. All right, the clock has not started yet. According to my stalker app. I don't know how this stuff works without getting into too much detail. Like, are you able to, like, work from home or do you really have to go into the office? Is it too distracting? As somebody who basically works 100% from home, um, there are times when I do have to go to the back to the office. I'm like, oh, yeah, there are there are benefits to this. to work in the office uh softwares on pieces uh, that i could see yeah yeah you know i can remote into my machine at the office as well and i i don't like it you know what i'll do it i'll send it back up there are times when i'm just shocked how well it works and then there are times when i feel like it dick where I'm like, I can't believe this magic thing that works almost perfectly is not working completely perfectly. And now I am disappointed. Two stars. Do I get the... Man, I'd love if you just did that all day. That's how I got punished last time. The other reason why you might want to hit him while he does that is if I think if you do enough damage, you can actually interrupt it. But it's a very high risk, high reward move that I'm not confident enough to pull off. Cost me and get a potion off. Ooh. 
You sassy bitch. You got me on that one. I thought I dodged it. There you go. Again, naturally on the run, you send the elevator up. Exactly. <laughs> That's my good luck move. Uh, yeah, so... Compared to Elden Ring stuff, like we were talking about uh, Malaketh earlier, this is nothing. Like, nothing. But at the time, it was like, holy shit. And also... Hell yeah. This one I should definitely pump up. Um, oh, I did have humanity... When you run out of health potions, I could have used humanity. So let's pop four. Humanity is not a precious commodity once you get to the DLC. And so that's why, like, you know, f the friend I've mentioned a number of times who used to be super duper into this, um, he would go with the Quilag's Fury Sword because to really max it out, you want to have 10 humanity used at all times. And of course, you get to the DLC, you can just farm it. And, um, and he did, did tons of co-op, so he um, would, you can use that to heal when you're in co-op. Um, you would do that. What are we up to? 16. Kindle one more time. This area here became a big PvP meetup. Um, hope I should level up. There's literally a PvP meetup, I think, next, next to this, but, um, there we go. We got that. So strength is now where I want it to be. Any other... Levels are just gravy. Uh, we're going to go back here. Yeah, I think if you go this way, that's a PvP thing. But if you go back here... Oh, nobody's here yet. Somebody comes here to sort of pay their respects. Uh, do I save this for later? Do I need to get keys and stuff to do this? Sif, no. No, although that would be sweet. Uh, Sif is gone. That might have been what part of what Artorius... Yeah, I need the key. That might have been what Artorius was partly doing as he fell apart. I think he did get Sif out. I thought all you had to do was rest at a bonfire and come back and then it reset, but... I always like this little touch that you can tell how strong... How many potions you're going to get back by the size of the flame. You can see creatures that are being completely, near completely consumed by the abyss. Yeah, I'm going to get invaded because, of course... There he is. All right, well, let's do this for real. No potions unless he starts whipping out potions. Yeah. I, um... Good fight. I, I don't like PvP in these games. I like co-op. So usually what I'll do is when somebody invades me, I'll give them a shot. Not give them a shot like that. I mean, I'll let them... I'll try and do the fight the way they're expecting. And then almost invariably I lose. <laughs> Here we go. So somebody creates a little monument to You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Yeah, because I'm not gonna do anything. Very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. 
May the Lord guide thee. May the Lord guide Okay. Thee. Yeah, it's again, everything about Artorias is incredibly touching in a sad way. These games are so <laughs> depressing. <laughs> um, and sometimes it's just like a little much, but they do get it right a lot. Okay, let's, let's take a step back and die. Uh, I don't know if I counted the death. So let, let me do two there. I don't know if I got the one from the invasion, so. Yeah, they really are, Matt. So yeah, yeah. Like, that's the thing, like the Anor Orlando ruins, when... You know, I walk into it. I don't know the lore. Um, Berserk, yeah, was, was the uh, inspiration for a lot of this. I don't know a lot of the lore when I first play it, but then you, you know, you read what's up with like Anna Orlando ruins, and you're like, oh my god, I don't kick. future shortcut. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, up that bonfire. I'm not getting backstabs. Usually in groups what I do is I rely on the backstab to protect me while one gets insta-killed. The fact that I'm not one shotting those guys is is a problem. Not a problem, but it just it's complicating it a little bit. Now I don't know how much of this I have to do since there's only one or two things I actually want from this. Oh shit, you know what? I might need, the thing I need to do, I might need to go back to the bonfire for. Maybe not. Again, I always wonder what the lore implication is, like, what was in the first two? There's literally one item you have to have here. And I'm nervous that uh, I need to go back to Bonfire to set up how to get it. That would be disappointing. 
because I think it's here. So that raises the question, I guess. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can I not get that? I hope it's not important. <laughs> oh! Okay, um, rest at bonfire. Nope, attune magic. In this slot, I need to attune cast light. Another reason to have that spell. What's going on here? All right. <laughs> Got physics corpses flopping around. I don't know who's alive, who's dead. I wonder, do I need... <laughs> I don't need the rusted iron ring. Know that. <laughs> Which answers my question, do I need the hobble ring on still? All right, let's try this again. There's probably a faster way. I probably could have backtracked from where I died. That might be a little better. I just don't know. Oh, I didn't know about that. All right. There you go. You gotta get that. Absolutely have to have it. And not in a like, you know, pro tips, like you you literally have to have that.
Let me just see if that item... There we go. That wasn't useful. Okay, didn't matter. Okay, let's try this again. I mean, do you literally have to have it? I mean, in the most strict sense, no. But it really comes in handy with the final boss fight. button. I'm trying to remember how to get the stuff you need to take down Calamite. Nope, a little slow. Very slow. We're just going to do that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'd sent it to the pendant. I needed my, my flask. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> That's right. Terrible. That was awful. Um, okay. Oh, you know what I have? I don't have it upgraded. I'm just curious. What are the stats on this thing? Definitely not... F I don't know if I have enough... Um, I need a ton of Twinkling Titanite. Let's see what it can do. Let's... Sweep it's a little slow. Oh, okay. This has the same problem with the um, regular Black Knight sword. Speaking of your jets, lost in Aaron Rodgers through three interceptions. Couldn't have a better guy. Yeah, I mean, if you, I mean, Matt knows this. I do not care for. Oh, this isn't actually. <laughs> um. Uh, the the other one's better, is what I was trying to say before I just did whatever that was. Let's see if these can one-shot them on the swing. Yeah, I... 
if I needed an AFC team to root for, I would root for the Jets. I just, nope, didn't do it. I don't like Aaron Rodgers. I've never totally cared for him, especially once he started doing all that, you know, doing that belt stuff every time he celebrated a touchdown. Um, I didn't like that he misled his teammates during COVID about what he was actually doing. Um, I really didn't like that. He's also kind of a piece of shit in terms of... Apparently he can be into like some pretty stupid conspiracy theories. Um, so I'm not a fan of his at all. And so when the Jets grabbed, I'm like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Like, the one AFC team, because they're local, I was like, you know, I can kind of pull for if I need an AFC team to pull for, which, I mean, I don't really. Um, they had to go and pick up Aaron Rodgers. I mean, obviously, I have my own personal opinions about COVID and what you should be doing with vaccines and stuff like that. Um, but what you can't do is you can't say you're doing one thing so your teammates make decisions based on that. And then turns out that's not actually true. Because <laughs> you're, if you're going to be all about I should be able to do what I want, then other people should have correct information to be able to do what they want. And he did not provide that. Which I think is a shitty thing to do teammates. Yeah, he's the worst. You say if you need an AFC team, is there an... Yeah, uh, Washington Commanders. Been a lifelong fan of the Commanders. Since I was about five. And this year, for once, they're actually not terrible. I think today they're playing the Browns. Um... In Cleveland, I think. I was talking to my brother about this. He lives in Ohio. Oh, I didn't realize we were in range for that. He's a Giants fan. So he never gets to watch them, unfortunately. Unless they're playing the Browns. And I was joking about how he'll at least get to watch NFC East eating, leading Washington Commanders. Yeah, my, um, Commander's fandom started when I was a little kid, and it's the most little kid reason why. I was about four or five, maybe five, uh, and they had a wide receiver named Art Monk. Uh, when you have the name Art or Arthur, uh... There's not a lot of cool Arthurs out there. Um, feels like a good first name for fictional serial killers. So, yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, I was like, oh, there's actually other arts out there in the world. <clears throat> Aside from my father, you know, he had the same name. Um... Ooh. Nope. Gotta go to the healing potion. Yeah, and then it happened to be, you know, right before, because I'm old, uh, they won a Super Bowl. So, they have a wide receiver named Art Monk, and then a year or two later, um, they, yeah, they win the Super Bowl. Joe Theismann. I actually did follow the Jets before because I was growing up here in New Jersey for a while. And, uh, yeah, they were the team that was always on. Um, I think their quarterback was Todd. Something Todd. And I think I remember them almost getting to the Super Bowl or the AFC Championship. Oh. I very distinctly remember watching Crest Key. I think that's what I need. 
very distinctly watching a game in the playoffs with Todd at quarterback. And I thought a lot hinged on a quarterback sneak that they did not get. I don't know if any of that's true. I was probably four or five years old. But I remember that. But then Art Monk bats his eyelashes at me and I become a Washington fan. Uh, then, yeah, two, two year or two later, they win the 1982 Super Bowl with... Joe Theismann and uh, John Riggins at running back. They had the Hogs on the offensive line. The year after, they almost repeated. They went to the Super Bowl and faced the 83 uh, Raiders. And at that time, this was before my brother was a Giants fan. Um, he was a Raiders fan first, I think. I don't know why. I don't know what, you know, I just told you my origin story. But yeah, he liked the Raiders. And so, yeah, it was our first, uh, brother versus brother. Um, before the Kelseys were even a thing. Uh. Okay, we got the shortcut going. Yeah, Raiders won. <laughs> My brother, being the younger, rubbed it in, rightfully so, because I could. There were. I feel like I was a decent big brother a good chunk of the time, but I know I, I have some. Uh, some shit moments <laughs> as a brother. As a big brother. This might not go well. So yeah, he deserved, <laughs> he deserved that. So. At least we got the shortcut opened up. Blasted, yep. <laughs> Can I just uh, run it? If I send the elevator up. I'm going to fall on my head. Okay, so the trick to this fight, if I can figure it out, is to do the opposite of what I just did. Yeah, so when RG3 joined the Washington Reds, uh, Red, sorry, uh, Commanders, um, I was psyched. And they had a, one really good season, and I felt like had they treated him better as a young quarterback, I felt like they, um, for some reason, went with like a win-now mentality with like a rookie quarterback. So the first couple of years, the guy just got trashed. He was a great. He led the uh, commanders to like an 11 and 6 record and blah 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 a lot of good stuff uh, got him into the playoffs for the first time in a long time but I think they're just like they made him play hurt they probably should have given him more time to develop a lot of stuff like that Uh, but that was a, uh, and it, it, for a long time, it was hard to root for the, the commanders. Um, because the owner was Daniel Snyder. And um, it's just like, you got to be kidding me. 
<laughs> he tended to just like, what's the big name from two years ago that I can overpay for that I think it's going to make a big splash, even though everybody knows they're kind of past their prime. Or they maybe have like one good year left in them, but I'm going to build my team of all these old big names that, um, huh. the Yanks did that for a while. Oh, I forgot this guy's coming. I do appreciate, I think that might be the first elevator ambush. <laughs> I don't know if Souls games still do this, but, um. I love being able to see the, the red eyes coming up the elevator. It's such a nice touch. I'm going to grab this just to be safe. I don't know if there's something going on with those jail cells. But yeah, Dan Snyder. Ugh, it's just the, the worst. And now, like, Control's been arrested from him. S sold the team. This already, can I? I definitely want to boost this one up. Uh, do I have no, hum where's my humanity? Are you kidding me? Do I have, oh no, I, okay, I was gonna say. This is the last bonfire before the end of the, the, the final boss, so you want to boost this one up. Don't think I'm on the clock yet. That can't be right. I feel like I would have been on the clock by now. Um, Kindle. Uh, again, another good time for light. It's a little less irritating. Not by much. Sort of see in the darkness. At least that's a nice touch. I think they sort of learned their lesson from the first time and realized you can't just... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want to do this because it's going to lead me to... That. Again, at least they use it to good effect. It's a spell back there that I don't need, so I'm going to skip it. What do I got for rings? That's not bad. You can put on the, um, no. This isn't a bad place to put on this one because then you'll just farm humanity. Again, if you remember the cat from the Covenant of the Dark Root Garden. So what you're looking at here is basically literally humanity incarnate. Part of the abyss. You want to follow the cat. Uh, definitely 100% sure I have not played the DLC. I only know the humanity from Dark Souls 3. Yeah. We go in here. Little baby one. 
You want to make sure they don't touch you, because they will damage you. Again, like, it's done to, like, really good effect, right? Like, this is really interesting. Uh, making the run over and over, though, gets tedious. But you want to do it because of this. That's right. Cleansing Great Shield. Let's see what that does. That's, uh, yeah, such a good, such a good dog that we murder. Physical is only 80, but it's got high fire, high lightning, high stability. Steel great shield used by Knight Artorius, who succumbed to the abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriot Sif. Although this drained the shield, his magic def defense remains high. Uh, the best girl in all of gaming, yes. Is that all she does in the DLC? No. Also, why is she here after you defeat her? Uh, this is before times. This is back in time. So, actually, what this actually implies is that Artorius did not succeed in sending Sif back. You did. Let's open up this one. I don't know if we need this one. I know, right? You're your own grandfather kind of stuff. I don't know, uh, did you ever, have you ever, yeah, I mean, have you ever heard of the movie or did you ever see the movie Looper? L-O-O-P-E-R stars Bruce Willis and uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh, yes, I thought if you were going to ask if I ever saw The Stupids, I've seen the, I love the scene in Looper where, you know, Bruce Willis is like, you know what? Just, just don't fucking think about it, because then you start building models out of straws, and you, you know, in your own, your own, your own, your, your own grandfather. You know, I loved that explanation for time travel. <laughs> just like, don't worry about it. <laughs> I love that movie. I think it's such a good movie. I continued my firm love of Ryan Johnson movies until Star Wars Episode Eight. But then Knives Out got me back on track. Yeah, I love Looper. It's such a good movie. More spells we don't need. I also love the scene in The Stupids when Tom Arnold sings, I'm my own grandpa. Oh, I don't know the movie Stupids. <laughs> Sounds like I need to get it to the top of the watch list. Also, Matt, based on what we're discussing, this was gonna be my Blue Velvet afternoon. Instead, I'm, uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe I get the game beat on Saturday. And um, take care of errands and have some time for Blue Velvet. Because again, nobody in my family is going to watch that with me. Uh, can I keep going down or am I at the end of this part? Okay, so these things are illuminating the path. So let's see if I can... Oh, yeah. Really? Weirdly enough, Tom Arnold recorded Michael Cohen uh, to reveal some of the Jerry, of Jerry Falwell stuff. Like, of all the people to get mixed up in stuff. Oh, interesting. Huh. 
Okay, so we're back on the main path now. The guy we just killed is the only, I think, tricky part of this run back down to the boss. The star of the stupids got Cohen on tape, baby. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Again, if you need humanity, just kill everything here. Or do what I just did. <laughs> so you ask, what's up with Sif? hand from the one that dragged you into this world. Hey boy, girl, whatever. There we are. There you go. Sif is in. Team up, baby. Nope. Just want to drink a potion. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Sif. I didn't get a... Okay. Oops. Oh. That's why you need the pendant for this fight, because he'll drop that on you. Shit. That's my fault. It's hard to see what's going on. <laughs> need to back away. Fuck you. <laughs> putting the nightlight back on, getting killed. <laughs> Yep, there you go. <laughs> if I let Sif die, no, I I just delete the game right now and I never show my face again. Okay, let's um
All right, now we'll do the run proper. Again, I think coming up is the only really tricky part. Because that guy's on the... He's got to get past it, not get hit. <laughs> Again, it's not an interesting run, <laughs> so having to do it is a little annoying. Get a new... Here's something we can explore further. Hmm. Here's a question. Can I summon in Sif? I'm not human. In human form. Early thoughts of favorite Soulsborne DLC. That's a good question. Um, so, at the time of playing it, like, you know, the first time you experience it, I think this has to be up there. What do you think? Um, and then, I, I, this has to be up there. I really liked Shadows of the Erd Tree, but I really, really like Elden Ring. There are things about... Erd Tree I didn't love, but overall, I really had a good time with it. Um, Dark Souls 3, you say, is uh, so, so, so good. I need to play Erd Tree. Um, I've never beaten Old Hunters. I've never beaten Old Hunters either. Um, but I don't love Bloodborne. I really like Bloodborne in a lot of ways, but, um, I don't like the blood vials. That's basically it. If they had flasks, I don't love that I can't sword and board it. I don't like that they are telling you what build is best. Where can I bring in Sif? That's all I'm trying to trying to see. Um, the DLC for Dark Souls 3, there's a stretch of it I really hate, but there's so much about it that I really like. You know, it's got like its own painted world. It's got its, um, the ending, like the boss is really good. I really like that end portion once you get past the super annoying part of the city of whatever. I do miss flasks, but started with Bloodborne, so yeah, that's the, yeah. Um, which part didn't you like of BB3? Uh, the city I thought was really irritating. Um, but then you get past it and it's fine. And then the rest I thought was really good, culminating in that great epic final fight. And that's why I didn't click with Sekiro. I, I don't like that they say there's a very specific way you have to play this. Um, and it's what attracted me to Demon's Souls when I first played it was that um, I could just... I could find a way that I found comfortable and then stick with it. Fuck me. Okay. 
can't even see what's going on. This is why, actually, this is the... It's, madness is hard, but what I don't like about it is I um, can't see what's going on. So that gets a little tedious. Are we seeing Sif anywhere? Or do I have to be human form? I'm not seeing it. Nope. Ring City. That was, yeah, that's the part. When Ring City, once you get past the Ring City part, because um, there was just a bunch of stuff I thought was really dumb there. I know it's a five attack pattern. I don't know where I am in it. I don't know what I'm actually doing. <clears throat> Gee, I'll be right back. All right, apologies. I, uh, a couple things happened all at once. I had a package arrive. Uh, I ran out of my beverage, my, which is a problem because my voice goes very quickly. So I had to take care of a couple things. My voice going is, leads to a lot of the comical, I've been muted for the last 30 minutes, so. <laughs> oh, shit, you know what? Uh, let's see, Ring City was up there, down, uh, just refreshing in some boss fights while you were away. Uh, Twin Princes, yeah, that was really good. I really like the, um... <sighs> What's the fight? The, um... When you... It's, uh... He's got, like, the... <sighs> It's, he's in he's in the Anorlando in Dark Souls 3 and he's got like the two swords uh, I need to man I would yeah we should we should be doing this kind of stuff yeah I need the lists in front of me uh, not dancer um although it's a similar fight to dancer he's got one swords fire one swords 
Um, maybe the pontiff something? Yeah. Yeah, pontiff, yeah. Whatever that guy is. Uh, no, can't do that. Pontiff Sullivan. I really like that fight. I do like the dancer as well. Uh, especially like how the dancer, um, as the fight progresses, the place, he sets the whole building on fire. <laughs> um, so the reason why I'm doing this is because Yorm, yeah, uh, the story of Yorm. And I, that's the thing, like, I, I'm not a... Believe it or not, like, not because I never understand what's going on in the moment. I play Souls games for the story. So, like, I get through it and I try and piece together as much as I can, which is basically zero. And then I just consume everything I can find about the lore. Like, that's why I'm a big fan of Vadi Vidya and how I came to listen to so much Bonfireside chat. Uh, and then I play through it again, knowing the lore. And um, it almost makes it like a fresh experience. But yeah, the story of Yorm is just, again, tragic. Oh, shit. Okay, not a big deal. One of the biggest letdowns. Champions, Grave Tender, and Grave Tender, Great Wolf. Um, I think. Shit, that's a bad start. That's an even worse start. Can I get a drink off? Okay. <laughs> so let's give this another try and then I immediately face plant. You know, I... Ah, uh, fuck me. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Uh, he says, like, they're trying to capture Ornstein Smile with Sif with Grave Tender and Great Wolf. Yeah, I could see that. The reality is, yeah, I don't actually... It's been so long. Dark Souls 3, like, you know, because it's the only one I haven't replayed on the channel, I don't recall very well at this point. I know that Bonfire Side Chat wasn't a huge fan of the ham-fisting. doesn't bother me that's what they were doing, but it was kind of soft there. Um, yeah, I gotta say, uh, it's an optional boss inside the Painted World. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Which I also thought was kind of cool. I liked the callbacks. Um, you know, it's just, I don't want to know, I don't want to say it's fan service. Because it does it a disservice. So it's more thought than that. But like, you know, like, Watching the Avengers Infinity War and whatever the second one, first and second one was like that sequel, the second one. I remember when I saw it in the theater, people were almost standing up in their seats cheering because that is what fan service can do. And so when I saw an Orlando pop up 
in Dark Souls 3. I was uh, thrilled. Let's do this properly. Uh, you go into the valley and descend down into the arena. It's a dude with a wolf. Yeah, I do remember him now. I guess I don't remember their names. I guess maybe that's part of the problem. Bad. Oh shit, I didn't... humanity to do this but it's only really more fun with Sif because I feel like Sif deserves justice also it's the idea of like how come I can't just walk into the hardest end boss DLC of the game and do it cold on my first try why can't I do that <laughs> this game's broken Also, you used to you used to be able to find signs here. Nope, too early. Take a shot. So again, you can see he's got like the one hand and then the stranger is holding the weapon. 
You want to rotate away from that hand. <laughs> if you're going to circle strafe. Oh, but if he's going to spaz out, you just got to... Yeah, this might kill me. Can't get involved in any of that. Might knock me off a ledge here if I'm not careful. <laughs> You'll get him on death 69, I'm sure. <laughs> what am I up to? 60? I really wish they let you summon Sif not in human form. Just because... I don't know. Just to make it so I could do it every time without thinking about it. Because again, Sif deserves justice. What I need to do is I need to learn the tell for when he's going to spaz. That's the spaz, and this fifth one might kill. Nope, didn't kill me. Oh, Sif took one for the team there.
No, did I do it? Maybe. Damn it. Mm. Fuck you. Uh, damn, just read some of the people's favorites is a boss from the old hunters I haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> I've heard old hunters is good. I, yeah. Uh, so I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna farm humanity. Well, at the end, I was mostly doing this. So, yeah, there's a couple times when you really need to use the pendant. I thought I had seen all of his magic attacks. I forgot about that last one, which is not avoidable unless I think you have the pendant. Maybe you can roll through. I don't know. Whoops. Interestingly enough, the pendant is another mechanic I actually don't like. Oh shit, I forgot to Um I forgot to get Sif. I'm gonna homeward bonus because I don't want to waste I don't I only have a few vanities left. Um, yeah, I, I don't love the pendant because it feels like, um, maybe there's a way to roll through that one attack that I got killed at last time, but if you can't, I just, I feel like, you know, let me just learn the moves and I don't know, I guess it's just one extra thing to worry about. Who's this? Let's see what Chuck's got to offer. Again, I'm not, I, I just, I don't care that much. Um, I just like uh, Jolly Co-op in this one. Let's give it a shot. I'm 
again, I don't know if I'm on the clock yet, so... Looks like Chuck's able to kill that guy. That's good. Oh, yeah. Both have to skip it. All right, Let's see what happens. It's not let me skip. Who went in a fight, Chuck or let me solo her? <laughs> Let's see what Chuck brings to the table here. <laughs> Chuck's a little concerned about my <laughs> skill level. <laughs> Get out of my way, Chuck. I can't. <laughs> Let's bring Sif in, because again, Sif deserves justice. Magic might not be the best stuff to bring to this fight. Good shit. Okay, good. Get your spaz out. Since I can't seem to read that. <laughs> Get greedy. Bitch. There we go. Chuck, you are a scholar and a gentleman. I hope you don't get to see me bow. Ten humanity. Nice. Well done, Chuck. I didn't do shit. <laughs> and Sif. That's the woman who brought us here, the Ooh Seal woman, I think. I don't know who that is, though. <laughs> but I believe that's who it is. It's the woman who summoned us here, in a way. 
Yeah, she wanted you to go back into time for some reason to... Probably to defeat Manus, which Artorius could not do. So I think that's kind of the idea, right? Like, so in Anorlando Ruins, the Abyss is sort of blocked off and it stops its creep forward. And I think part of that is because you stop it. Not that I know that for certain. But that's what I believe to be part of the case. I think they attribute it to the hero Artorius. Uh, but they don't really know that he succumbed and fell apart. I think there's the legend to him. That's not actually true because he fell apart. That's lost to time because you stepped up and defeated Manus, which prevents the Abyss from totally taking over. Don't quote me on any of that, but I think that's in the ballpark. Now, you could argue, is the Abyss coming a bad thing? That's, I think, part of the idea of the light and the dark endings. Did I get enough for a level? Nope. Also, again, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. Did I have any souls here? I'm just going to grab them. I don't think I did. I was hoping I'd have a few just to get that level. But I think the Abyss is part of, like, the, the Pygmies. I think the Pygmies are part of the Dark Ending. I think Pygmies are part of humanity and the humans. I think it's the ones that the Anna Orlando folks fear. Because it's... The Dark is threatening their... Um... Their uh, hold on power. And um, the age of dark is, I think, the age of humanity. But again, don't quote me on any of this. Do I have what I need finally for this? I know we grabbed a key down below. There we go. We did. Ooh, a visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorius. An old friend he was. Thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am. The time... I need to read more about the pygmy stuff. Yeah, it's um, I'm sure there's a Vadi video video that is <laughs> Vadi video video that covers the whole thing. Right, and that's part of what I love about um the DLC in Dark Souls Three. Do I need to... Yeah, why not? <laughs> do I need to do, need to do something with... I think I do. Let me go kill one thing. Hopefully get enough for a level. And then let me go do the next steps. And that's why I don't think I mind the callbacks so much in Dark Souls 3. Because I feel like they do, at least well enough for me, they do pay it off. You know, it's not just for no reason. That do it? No. 
I don't know. I mean, other people may feel differently, but, um... You know, we were talking about, you know what other boss fight I don't mind? It's, you know, it's a variation on a theme. They do it all the time. I think it's I really like the area where, like, the Cardinals are in Dark Souls 3. I really like that dungeon. But I'm forgetting... And the Cardinal fight's fine at the end. Level up. What are we doing now? Oh, shit, I'm still short. Uh, I'm going to get Endurance. I've gotten Strength up to 50. I don't really need Dex. I'm just admitting what I am. I like the area as well, other than the slow walk in the water at the bottom of the cathedral. Yeah, the Cardinal fight is fine, but pretty easy. Yeah, I, I don't mind it because I feel like it's thematically correct, if that makes sense. But you're right, it's a bit of a trope. Uh, Bloodborne has something similar. I think they all kind of do, right? You can even say, like, the pinwheel fight here maybe is a little bit of that. The idea that, like, it creates copies of itself and then you got to go find its own. Elden Ring has that. They all do. Even if we don't do top souls that aren't D&D... Someday, well, I would love to do a Top Souls games that aren't D&D and we tier list them, bosses, everything. Uh, but I'd like to discuss, in my own ignorant way, Elden Ring. Probably could add a better ring on for the Manus fight. I didn't need... Gold... Serpent Ring. Yeah, we should just start doing... Yeah, exactly. I guess bonus content. Like, you know, like, that's why it doesn't have to be... And again, we but we make sure Patrick's there. We'd have to come up with a name for, do we have a name for, I thought maybe I do, we do have a name for like side stuff. Cause I think I put out one little small video at once. I wanted to burn those souls um, because I think I have to do another C where I have to die to progress. The story bit. Oh, come on. <laughs> did I get it that time? I did. Was that enough or do I have to die to it? Just in case, I'll die to Calamite just to make sure. I don't have to die. Maybe just the fact that he's here is enough. Yeah, that kind of bonus content, and then not that a rewatch would be bonus content, but you know what I mean? Like, like we keep the, we'd have to keep the schedule obviously for the role playing games. But yeah, we start figuring out the media empire that we're meant to be. Uh, now I, I want to keep the, uh, you know what? Yeah, it's time for that stuff. And again, moderated by Patrick.
Every episode of him is just like, fucking A. Okay, here we go. How long? Another hour? Okay. <laughs> the other thing I think for that stuff that might be good is... Um, I think you could argue it would work just as well in audio as it does video. I don't know if our actual plays... I feel like you can go either way, but I always prefer seeing it because I know we're doing stuff... I don't know what I said, but again, you almost always answer yes. How can I not be on the clock yet? Okay, I'm on the clock. He's on the clock, boys. That clock, it's about four hours. <laughs> Parallels to Artorius, who was short a hand. Now Calamite is as well. Again, this is also, if there's somebody who wants to jolly, jolly, jolly co-op this, I'm going to bring him in because it's a good fight. A lot of good characters in the DLC. Um, that blacksmith, the idea of Artorius, the woman who comes and pays respect, even though I don't know who it is. The giant mushroom lady at the beginning. And then I can show you something really shitty that this game does for some reason. I don't quite know why. It's not shitty, but um, if I remember to do it after the fight, I'll do it. Again, the one good thing about the DLC is they don't make the runs too tedious for the two best fights. There's a couple of dogs here you gotta get through. Artorius, there's a little bit of a run. Actually, the Artorius one's a little long. Because I forgot you don't open up that thing until after you beat him. Milk the content, make it longer. <laughs> okay, there are some jolly co-ops. Let's do this. Uh, oh, but I feel bad. I don't remember the fight very well. So what do I do? Do I bring him in and just get hosed? Or do we bring it in? Oh, Matt. Matt, what are we looking at here? This guy knows how to get, st get stuff done. I'm bringing everybody because there's two... more jolly co-op the better for the record I just want it said not that it's been recorded and I have no proof I have beaten Calamite solo Manus I think I have once let's do this team team Sunbro I defeated Calamite by myself a couple of times Manus maybe once or twice. Today was not one of those days. <laughs> All right. Let's go team. Let's do this. A little flame grant me strength kind of stuff. I don't know what it's called. This one's going with a flame buff. Nice move. I like it. Oh 
shit. Calamite does have a grab attack you gotta be careful for. Of? Not for. A little stompy, a little tantrum going on. You can cut off Calamite's tail, but it's hard because it's high up. Um, my good friend who is super into this game specifically would bring the Lucerne. Lucerne, I don't know how you say it, to this fight because of its properties of having an overhand downward attack. Oh shit. Rip, Havel guy. I'm just slapping my way through this fight. I'm not, <laughs> not good at this. Not learning the moves at all. I remember a couple of moves. Like, don't get grabbed, which I just did. Oh, that's the grab. Oh, shit. <laughs> I recognize that move. I'm not bad with his uh, physical attacks. I'm not good with his magic attacks. Nope. <clears throat> That's a good one. If you can get to this... Nope. <laughs> 0 for 2. <laughs> this other guy's like, what the fuck is this guy's problem? There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can get a really good... Uh, great sword it's like an obsidian sword or something um again my friend when he would co-op he would always insist on cutting off the tail for everybody that he co-opt with and it was one of those things where like <laughs> I, I remember correctly we were we were co-oping this at one point tight night slab baby um calamite was getting close to dying and he hadn't been getting shots off on the tail like he wanted. And he's like, just kill yourself. I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? He's like, just, just fucking kill yourself. You need to get the tail. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm like, this is my run, sir. Um, but no, I did it. I uh, was like, all right. And I let it get killed. And then we did it again. And uh, yeah, I got the obsidian. That is something I really miss in... Maybe, Matt, can you, I don't know if you remember, can you cut off tails of creatures in later Dark Souls? I miss it in Elden Ring. The two things I really miss in Elden Ring are cutting off tails and, um, I like the plunge attack. I wish there was a way to do that. Um, okay. We are done with the DLC. Which leaves one thing. Uh, whoops. Actually, I have to click yes.
Uh, did it do it? It did. I need 40,000 souls. Um... Here's a question for you. I don't know if you remember this game well enough, Matt. The dragon that's on the bridge in uh, the beginning of this game, do you know how to bait him to jump down and fight you? Uh, another thing. No. Okay. I was just curious. Um, I'm just going to warp back to the very beginning of this game. Yeah, I've shot at it, and I did the cheese where you shoot at its tail for an hour and get the drake sword. I don't quite understand why the game does this, but you, um, you know, this is the start of the DLC, and when you came through here, we encountered one of those, like, manticore creatures. It was a tough fight. For some reason, when you come back here, there's two. <laughs> You're just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if you get something for beating them the second time and why there's two. Uh, <laughs> I was just I was like, okay. What else do we need to do? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand why it does that. Um, but it does. Uh, it's time to start looking at some equipment. We don't need this anymore. We don't need that anymore. We want this. We'll keep that. We don't need this. We do want that. Can I put on any more clothes? Yep. Can I put more clothes on? Nope. There it is. That's the limit. Is there anything we need here? Um... Gold pine resin? And I guess it can't hurt. We can try it. You know, I never, <laughs> we've advanced the plot as far as we have. He's still there. Logan's off. We never, this guy's, uh, we never advanced his thing where the people come. Yeah, uh, she's down in the Tomb of the Giants where she will be stuck there forever alone because I'm not going to bother saving her. Is a grave lord servant uh, throwing shit down in uh I'm gonna throw an extra death. I don't know if I missed one or two. I'm just gonna make it 64. If 
feel like I probably missed a couple with Manus there. It's not an exact science, numbers. Bamzy, let's do this. Ooh, he's got some uh, big unga bunga going on, Matt. Part of the problem I have with invaders is on the PC, I don't know if they can cheat. I don't mind the cheating, like whatever, in terms of. I don't mind the cheating, but if they can, like, corrupt your character. That's the thing I worry about. Oh, well, thank you, sir. All right, now we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's do this. I actually forgot I was in human form. <laughs> I was getting my drink arranged. <laughs> Uh, another one for the... There we go. Love the vibe here. Obviously, it's going to harken back. Not harken back. The end of the DLC of Dark Souls 3 is going to harken back to this. Now, if I had a Black Knight Halberd, I think it would one-shot these guys, the backstab. So, man, I have good and bad news. The good news is the death counter is going to go up with the final fight. The bad news is I think it's going to go beyond magic teenage number of 69. Don't let your, don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> Rip son, bro. We did not save you. You could have summoned him here if you got his storyline. Go to the end. That was how I beat the game the first time. I remember thinking to myself, like, I'm never going to beat this game without help. And I, this was before the DLC. So humanity was not a farmable resource. And I remember, I was like, okay, I've got like 27 humanity. It means I've got 27 tries to do this. And I think I was down to my last three. <laughs> and I finally did it. And I remember the despair I was feeling when I was like, if I don't do it in the next couple of things, like, I may never beat this game. Um, and then uh, all came together. 
It was like the classic thing where like it took me 90 hours to do. It took me like probably 20 hours just to be the final boss. Your hands are shaking. I mean, your hands are cramping. You're like, you know, you're twitching a little bit. Um, here we go. Those first playthroughs are so special. Yes. Nope. Too late. You can always parry that opening move. Oops. It's two old men screwing it up. The reason why I have trouble with this fight, I mean, it's a little tough. Uh, but because for me, parrying is such a high risk, high reward, like I'm not good at it. in this like it's not your oh, dun, dun, final boss battle music it's very subdued whoops thought I was gonna get that off all right True, but I always enjoyed enjoyed par uh, parrying. Yeah. If I were good at it, I'd be like, hell yeah, look at me, I'm a badass. I am not good at it. Oh, the music. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's sort of the first inclination. Like, you know, something's different about this boss fight. And I actually, I don't know how other people feel about this. I actually like final bosses that are stupid easy. That's why I like the block counters we have parrying at home. Um, like, I feel like narratively it can be an interesting move to have a boss fight that is actually super easy. Yeah, in Elden Ring, I love the fact that, yeah, they give you that option. For idiots like me that can't ever get a parry off, but still want to... And, and it encourages certain builds, right? It gives you choices. You get shields that, you know, motivate you to get like a big FU shield, like a Havel's Great Shield. Huh. Spe oh, speaking of. Let me just see something. I assume there's no way you can parry with Havel's Great Shield, right? No. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. I didn't know about that. What the shit's going on here? Wait, where am I going? Black Knight Sword, I've already got that. You know what? 
I'm gonna make your dreams come true, Matt. Is this the right way? Or is this the wrong way? Which way am I going? I got turned around. Let's try it. <laughs> so what do you do? Do you just stand there and beat him to death? Like, do I have to parry him? In? Do I need this if I'm not trying to fat, fast roll? Like, can I even move? No, I can't. <laughs> I don't need to parry him. I gotta say, this is why I don't do it. It's because I, uh... It's this. Your poise is so high, your attacks won't get interrupted. So I just swing through until he dies. <laughs> I love it. No, sir. Sorry. I'm Havel. Yeah, I wonder if your stamina is high enough, but essentially... Yeah, I don't know if my stamina is actually high enough. I feel like I would need, like, a stamina of, like, 40 or so. But let's try it. Still move around a little bit and get fancy. Still not getting the, um... Black Knight Halberd, though. <laughs> All right, Matt. This run in particular is for you, and then I might go back to what I was doing. So I think what i got to remember is that I'm still going to take damage. It's just I'll be able to swing through an attack. So I still have to manage my health. Like there. So that lumbering slow grab. Oh, you can jump over that? Okay. Maybe I should start swinging over and over right there, huh? Look at that! <laughs> All right, Matt, because this is your build and it's pure magic. So what stamina would you be looking at? Would you go in like 40 or so just to tank through that? And then the other question, Matt, because this is your build and uh, this was such a good suggestion, what do you want, light or dark ending? He said I'd have to see it was just points in strength, stamina, and endurance. Yeah. Oh, shit. Do we rekindle the flame or do we bring in an age of darkness? What would you like? Reignite? Okay. Is 
This might make us monsters. I don't know. I've morally, I've always wondered which is actually the right choice. Let's do it. The cycle begins anew. Got to be this one, right? Yeah, this is the good. I always thought this was the. I I, I actually don't know. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Well, there we go. Uh, took four hours and 40 minutes a day. Yesterday we ran for eight hours and 40 minutes or so. For a total of about 13 hours. I really thought I could get that under 10. But um, we're going to call it. Matt and uh, Hector, thanks for jumping into the chat. Everybody jumped in the chat today and yesterday. Thank you so much. So there you go. This was a, a slow-ass speed run, old man style of Dark Souls. Again, about 13 hours. I really feel like that should be around 10. I feel like I can do that faster. And if I would just acknowledge the proper Unga Bunga build, um, I could probably get there. But there we go. Included the DLC. Uh, I think all the bosses, except for maybe that Drake on the bridge. And this is good. I think for a while now, I'll be back. If I ever do something, I think I'd have to go to Elden Ring. Well, I should play Dark Souls 3 again at some point. Because I clearly don't remember that. But yeah, if you go into the darkness, you get Ua Seal, right? Um, that's hard to say. I think what you do is you just, I think it's sort of the unknown. If you if you reignite, you continue the cycle the way they want you to in Honor Londo. Um, if you don't, they're not sure what happens. They just know that that status quo ends and their sort of power is taken from them. Uh, I think it's like it's supposed to be maybe the Age of Darkness, the Age of Humanity. I don't know if that's actually true, I, but I think that's the case. Um, I should be. <laughs> there are people out there who know far more concretely than I. Um, yeah, you get all these like the if you go into the darkness, you get all the serpents coming out, and um, they sort of bow to you as their sort of new leader, and you sort of walk off into the darkness. And then it's left ambiguous what happens next. But yeah, so the the fun thing about um, New Game Plus is you get to do, it's just, it's so satisfying because you, um, <laughs> it's just, you walk in and you're like, oh my God, the demon, I got to run to the door. And you're like, Actually, I don't. I don't have to do anything. I can stand here and beat the shit out of it in two seconds. I'll show you. If, if you haven't done a new game plus, I'll just show you that first boss. <laughs> it's just like not a problem. Um, and then I'm going to call it because, again, quote unquote, I'm on the clock. And also, this was good. Um, Matt, I do hope you uh, get your dragon dilly out. Yeah, you want me to go full Havel? Oh, I can't level up yet. Um, I forgot about that. Let's go full Havel for this. Here we go. Um, yeah, I hope, you know, if anything, if nothing else, you know, hopefully this inspires Matt to get back on Twitch here. I know you've been super busy. Bam! You know what? Uh, no, I'm gonna keep the shield. Just land on my head. I don't even care. <laughs> okay, get greedy. Spin around first. Let me heal. Just to be safe. Bat roll through it. No, didn't happen. Let's finish this guy out. Oh, didn't do it. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. More poise. Um, yeah, maybe I should have put the ring. Well, I can't wear the ring. And then you should get... Or maybe I already have it. I thought you get his... Um, you get his hammer. You know what it's time to do? I got the hammer. Good. Boost poise. Lose a uh, ring of favor and protection. Anyway. So, yeah, that's going to do it. <laughs> Um, yeah, Matt, if you ever do a Dark Souls 3 run for the YouTube channel, I would watch every single part of it. Um, otherwise, yeah, this has been Black Lodge Trivia Night. Thank you to everybody who jumped in. I know we've been doing, yeah, time to do it, exactly. I, I agree. I know we've been doing Souls here on Twitch, and I appreciate everybody who's been following. A lot of the time we are actually a tabletop RPG podcast and actual play videos. All that stuff's up on YouTube. Just search for Black Lodge Trivia Night over there. You'll see it if you prefer audio versions of that kind of stuff. Thank you, Matt. Awesome marathon. I had a blast. Um, my tailbone is screaming in agony from my office chair. Um, but, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Black Lodge Trivia Night. Um, if you prefer audio versions, search for Black Lodge Trivia Night where you get your podcast. We should show up there. And, again, we do a lot of CRPG stuff on the channel as well. Um, but the main thrust is the uh, tabletop RPG stuff. Discussions sometimes. Just had a couple of reviews of different games. Well, reviews, more like overviews, discussions. One was of uh, M Space by Frostbite Books. Hostel by Zozer Games. Uh, we have a session of Liminal Horror coming out soon. We have a couple other games going on. Eat the Reich is going on. We have a Cold War spy game using Mithras Imperative. Uh, CRPGs, I did a Elden Ring DLC run. That just... Uh, all the videos aren't up yet, but that's completed. That'll be up soon. Lord of the Rings Online book quests. There's a classic RPG that I've been, CRPG that I've been looking at to maybe take the spot of Erdtree. All sorts of stuff. Matt, you know, streams over here, does Dark Souls, does uh, Elite Dangerous, does train games. Sometimes that might be the other one. Otherwise, anyway, it doesn't matter. Thanks to everybody who jumped in. We really appreciate it, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Take care.